Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. I'm your sexy ranch and co-host Calderness. This episode, we're going to be tackling the entire set review of Disney Plus. Oh boy, it's going to be a long ride, so buckle in. Oh man, look at that minute counter down there. Wow, how'd we talk for so long? Goodness gracious. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Let's get into the set. This is episode 417. Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how they, six uh, people humor. think I am funny. It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which Absolute fools, it's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clips like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, Google, back some more. Let's attack him because he's a jerk. Wow, wow, wow. Eilage for Heroclix is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Heroclix singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Use code DIAL5, that's D I A L 5. For five percent off your cool stuff ink order, help offset those costs. They already have great deals for if you didn't pre-order your bricks and your uh, your starter set through Cool Stuff Inc. You made a mistake because man, it they were cheap. If you if you weren't supporting your local store, like these was the place to go. Like they really had like 30, 40 bucks off bricks, which is awesome. Uh, and like the starter, I think was around fifty five slightly cheaper than like the 70 like dollar mark it was pretty sweet um but i mean the set oh yeah wait sorry 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 so joining me like always in the studio get live those are not those live yeah, singles are not live. those aren't there yeah singles aren't there yet yeah uh, my brick i will say this my brick hasn't shipped yet as of this recording uh <laughs> sunday the fifth we're four days away from release so it's uh we're still still haven't been shipped yet from what i know hopefully soon i'm a little, little scared uh but uh yeah my my cases are are freaking me out right now simeon what made you happy this last week my man all right well as you can if you're watching this on youtube hopefully we upload it because we're we're going through all the effort of it uh yeah uh, a lot of stuff did not mean to do that it's just just sam wilson on the floor that's all um that's okay. what made me happy this week was uh i i did unbox two cases of some very cool disney plus uh i got all of my spooktaculars which not what? not very easy took two cases to get one oh, really? uh, agnes so um she is a hot commodity out there uh i really like the billy i wanted to get yeah. way more i might wait till he drops in price to like you know like that 50 cent mark or whatever if he ever does because i really want to just like you probably all will. Halloween buckets off of him, and yeah, he's a rare. Yeah, he's a rare. You know, he'll drop. Yeah, like, rares don't. Yeah, it's like a buck. So yeah. I don't think he's fifty cents, but like down for a dollar or something just, here in a few weeks. I really can't I'll... wait to uh, to just modify like every figure I have for like a Halloween event and give him a little little pumpkin little basket. bucket. Yeah, little pumpkin bu bucket. Um, but no, uh, I I unboxed. Two cases of Disney Plus. I got like all of my Empire, all of my stuff that was just laying around. This is Empire. This isn't uh, Disney Plus. Uh, I got it all organized, which is a like huge undertaking. Man, my heart goes out for all of you people that buy more than uh, two cases of product, like the Chad Birds, also the world who ah buy so much organization, the supply of ah man, it is. A huge undertaking. It takes me a couple hours to just unbox everything and then go through the cards and then like actually popping the figures out of all the boosters, sorting all those. I like go through all of it. I know some people just like toss it all in a bag, but I organize it from like set number, like from one to end kind of thing. And uh, yeah, um, that made me happy. Mostly the cleaning part. My my clicks room was getting quite messy. Uh, playing clicks twice a week means that a lot of times my teams just get shuffled from my like clicks box, like my to-go box with all my dice and tokens. They get shuffled from yep. there just like onto like something, like some flat surface. 
it's tough to put everything back, oh, man. man. It is, especially it the way I build, where I'm like, oh, like, I really want to play this figure from, like, the Mighty Thor. So I got to dig out yeah. the Mighty Thor, grab that one figure, grab that one yeah. card. And then I like, oh, and I want to play this figure from War of the Realms. So I grab that figure. And then I'm like, oh, this one from ABPI. So I grab that. like, And, yeah, by the end of it, I'm pulling from, like, 12 different sets. Yeah. And then I got to put it back. It's like, oh, yes, you have to dig through, like, 12 boxes to get the one figure put back <laughs> in place. Yeah. Maybe I'll just, like, start... One use and uh, done. Like once, once yeah. you're done. Like ah, I played my Thor Odinson title character. Trash. Bro, throw him away. I yeah, my, I mean, my Iron Allfather. Trash. Like oh no. 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 Um, no. Yikes, it is, dude. It is a Yikes. rough undertaking. Just it is not. I don't know how I did three nights a week. I used to do three venues a week. I had Different to man. Use teams at some point. There's no way I didn't. Probably. Must have. Um. Yeah. What made me uh, happy this past week, I went to a convention, went to the Black Hills Con up in Rapid City. They have not had a three-day convention in many years. Uh, it was kind of ran into the ground by the lady that ran it, uh, her name being Sharice Tatum. Sharice Tatum, I think a terrible human being uh, and poor business skills. No relation uh, to Channing. No relation to Channing. Jeez, she wishes. Uh Anyways, not not gonna dog on her anymore than I I have to, but I could do it all day. Let me tell you something. But uh, I was uh, Captain America, uh, John Walker, Captain America for Saturday. I was there Saturday and Sunday. That was really fun. I actually ended up leaving the convention and went to like the mall for a little bit because we wanted to go shop around in costume. And I had a few people like point at me or whatever and like ask for a, a picture with Captain America. It was pretty cool. Uh, that was pretty fun. My favorite like interaction of the convention. Well, this is I don't know if it's my favorite or second favorite. There's a dude wearing an Evil Dead shirt, like specifically the one you get when you pre-order uh, the collector's edition for the Evil Dead game. Uh, and I talked to him for like five ten minutes. We talked about like what classes we liked, how much we've been enjoying playing the game. I got his like uh, his gamer tag or whatever. So hopefully we can go uh, play some Evil Dead sometime. That'd be dope. But uh, yeah, shout out to Chandler from the Colorado area i don't know where he's from there exactly not gonna totally dox him but uh cool dude talked about you know obviously my favorite video game currently which is dope um but no while i was john walker uh got a lot of people being like hey or you know we probably the best part is you don't get as many of that's america's butt as you do when you're just normal <laughs> captain america right, right that's just the best part unless they're but like completely... uh ignorant as to unless they don't know it. a lot of people don't know though it's that's probably the craziest thing is a lot yeah. of people so i had one guy walk up to me and he was like oh dude i honestly thought we had chris evans as a guest here like you you know because i wasn't wearing my helmet he was just like oh man i really thought you were him i'm like well thank you i appreciate that greatly that will boost my ego for another week or two um but now nah, one lady goes Sam wilson was a better captain america i said no he wasn't, and remember, I'm your Captain America, uh, and they just died. It was it was pretty fun. That was a fun little interaction. So, uh, yeah, it was great. It's always fun being uh, being J Dubs. Oh, I had one more mini side tangent about the, the convention. I love haggling people. Sunday when they're packing up their booth, I'm like, oh, yeah. ooh, they don't want to time. Pack everything back in the car. Yeah, dude, I got uh, I got the four pack of like funko pops black light funko pops doctor strange iron man thor and cap he had it there for 60 i checked ebay it goes for about 55 to like 50 i was like would you do 40 for it and they're like mm, nah, sure uh they had a entire set which is like 10 packages of part six jojo trading cards and they were five dollars for each pack and i was like well there's 10 of them 50 bucks how about like 25 for all of them you know half off and they're like yeah, we'll do that. And I was like, yeah, yeah right, you see. will. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they, dude, they did it. And I was like, yes, half off, let's go. Um, I got a Casey Jones Funko Pop for 30 bucks. That was listed for 50 their booth. I got some stuff for like half off. There's some $10 items where I was like, I'll give you a $5 bill for it. Dude, cash is king when it comes to haggling. I think most people agree. Um, if you just be like, I'll just give you 5 bucks for it. Oh, like, it's 10 bucks, sure. That, we have 5 bucks. card fee or whatever, then they exactly. definitely are willing to like, exactly. have a little bit more. Yeah. It definitely helps. Um, did have a run out of cash. I had to like haggle with the with the with the card, which is a little rough. Um, I did get like a crossbones action figure he had for twenty five for ten bucks. That was a pretty good one percentage wise. So yeah, 
Yeah, a little bit of haggling, a little bit of a uh, fun cosplay shenanigans, a little bit of Evil Dead the game. Just my kind of my kind of weekend, dude. It was uh, it was a great time. But yeah. Also went to the farmers market just as Captain America. That was weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know everybody felt slightly about that. Vibe, but yeah. Slightly slightly different vibe, but yeah. it was still fun. I cannot yeah. wait to go back to man. Planet Comic Con in Kansas City is one of like my favorite venues. Yeah. Uh, my favorite cons, just because the size is not so overwhelming. But it's still huge. Like it's still you can see one of every fandom. You can see like multiple like minutia characters that you wouldn't think yeah. someone would cosplay. Like that's my favorite. It's like when it's like that background character. Like yes, they have a name. Yes, they have like a line. I'm not talking about like the the guy who peeks around a corner when a fight's happening, like in one scene for two seconds. I'm not talking yeah. about that, but like, um, like in Demon Slayer, the guy who like smiths the swords. He's got like a real weird face. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody, looked up. somebody did that. Yeah, with like the weird pointy mouth and he cheeks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. Somebody cosplayed as that at like the last Planet Comic Con, and ah uh, uh, man, I'm just like of all the characters that you could put that much work into, what a glorious choice. Um, Remember the no, Deadpool I, set? This was this was my all time favorite weird one. Um, but like someone was Madcap at a convention. Okay. I was like. I don't even know of him outside of like the two Captain America yeah. comics he's in, and then like the Deadpool like hero click set, and you're yeah. Madcap. That's why you know, like that's hilarious. Sorry, Probably keep going, but I'm just like comics, and I, I mean maybe he's been in a comic. Well, since just comics, the whole Deadpool thing, I guess, yeah. right? Like that would be it. That's all I would think. Yeah, I'm more Deadpool no? than Deadpool or whatever. It's, he says. Yeah, it's weird. Or like Howard the Duck is technically a more known character, but not many people cosplay him, so it's always funny seeing like a Howard the Duck, which I love. Um. Yeah, dude, it's yeah, I love seeing costumes like that. Who's who? What was another? What was a good one at this event? I'm trying to like think. Oh, someone was cr okay. This was actually someone was Krang, dude. That was like I know Krang is like a you know he's a big major TMNT villain, but no one cosplays Krang almost it's ever. Hard, right? It's, yeah, it's difficult, you know. And I mean, so it was it was this mother because uh, her other two kids were Donnie and Leo, and it was so cute because like Krang is like bigger than the turtles, right. you know, like he's. he's also, it actually really worked out. She had like Donnie and Leo, then she was Krang, and I'll send you like a video. But she, like when she did the cosplay competition, like she had like the little funny glasses. Mm -hmm. She was wearing like these tan. I really appreciated it from her. She's wearing like tan, uh, like long sleeve, like, uh, compression like pants, and then like tan long sleeve compression like a top Not and like, like red bikini, red shorts. Like, robot. Yeah, instead of just wearing a weird bikini thing, yeah. she was instead like covered. And I really, I was like. I would prefer someone be wearing more clothes than necessary yeah. than less clothes to me at a convention so i appreciated it but like she had like the little krang thing like on her stomach and everything and it like lit up on the side which is really cool and it like it looked like krang like she like carved it herself it looked aw dude it looked awesome um it was such a dope such a dope costume and like i was just like blown away i never would have thought i'd see a krang cosplay in south dakota of all like places at one of the smaller south dakota conventions and that was just yeah. so cool yeah. It does sound like a ton of work for like a smaller convention, but I mean, if you have time and you already have it made, might as well. I, know, no, I, can't totally. wait, I can't wait till I get my hair cut at some point so I can start using my bald cap for more cosplays because I've tried like, why they got to give anime characters such wild hair colors? Like, that's my question. Like, <laughs> it can't just be like brown hair, normal. Brown. Jeez. Like, it's got to be blue. Like, you know, Green, a seventeen year old boy with like light gray blue hair. Like what? Yeah. What? I mean I'm like, that's possible. You can get your hair dyed, but like that's not the story. The story is like, ah oh, yeah, my hair went gray because I killed my family. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean true. But uh uh, anyhow, we don't have news this week. The news we is don't. uh Disney Plus drop. Disney Plus. Yeah. Hey, dude. This is a Hero Clicks podcast, as you can tell from uh all that previous ramblings, oh, yes. totally hero clicks related. I mentioned hero clicks within the last two minutes. I'm pretty sure, maybe. Yeah, yeah not. Yeah, yeah. we've talked yeah. about it. Uh, uh, Planet Simeon Comic -Con has very small pickings for hero clicks. That was one of my first conventions. There was none. There was and none this year. It was rough. Yeah, I I looked through like every booth and I finally found some, and it was just like stupid overpriced like commons. It was just like uh, trying to get the people that didn't know what they were buying yeah. to buy like little figures, which I understand. I mean, that's how I get people to try and get into the game. I'm like, look, tiny little statues. Make that money. Tiny little statues. Buy them. 
This is a common. You don't even know what that means. Get it. <laughs> Speaking of commons, we're talking about 001 Captain Carter. Uh, 115 God. points. I do not love this character, but at 45 mm. points, she's got everything that I really like. She's got charge, 10 attack, 3 damage, leadership, invincible. Uh, she can start with the shield for an extra 5 points, making her an even 50. She has shield team ability. She's got Howling Commandos, Past, Shield, Soldier, Spy. Very easy keywords to make some fun thematic teams with. Past is huge in this set. It's almost as big as... I mean, it's not quite as big as Celebrity, but there's a lot of Past in this set. Um, mm. yeah. There's not a lot of Howling Commandos, but no, I... Yeah, for five extra points, she gets to start with her own shield. Sadly, you will have to pull either the Super Air Prime or the Super Air to get the shield. Yeah. But once you have one, you can use it on either Captain Carter um, or all three. And yeah, she's got she goes from invincible to that defend toughness willpower. And the amount of times where I've played this figure in sealed and somebody's knocked her to like flurry where she's a ten for three, and she's got a willpower roll. And she's got to defend oh, yeah. her with, I mean, she's never had her shield and sealed, but um, right. yeah, like just a 10 for three with Flurry for 45 Solid, points, Pretty solid. Really solid. I like her. My favorite thing they do, and we're going to say this about a lot of the commons, was everything that has a super rare or a chase, everything, but a lot of those that are like main, main characters have a common, easier figure to get if you don't want to try to get like the yeah. expensive one, which is really cool. Um, and I like her sculpt. I like that she's like standing tall. Yeah. Her common sculpt. I was going to say, out really of the sweet. sculpts, like this is a really solid one. Um, yeah. I would pull it, but Empire's on top of all my oh. Disney Plus stuff. Right? Oh, Empire uh, on top of Disney Plus. Jeez. No, uh, no, it's good. It's a good sculpt. It is a good sculpt. Uh, there is a lot of detail for a common. I think they, for I, I don't know what to call these characters, but like for these like title characters not really title characters but like oh, these, yeah. these like main characters of my main characters yeah shows or episodes they really did a ton of like detail work on them for even for just in like the common slots yeah it is really sweet next up though my boy skinny steve oh, i love skinny steve so much 15 points he's got a willpower roll and then he's got leadership and when he uses it friendly characters in range are considered adjacent so dope for four for 15 points, 4 range, can remove tokens. Uh, Howling Commandos, Pass, Shield, and Soldier. So Pass, Shield, and Soldier, your best keywords there. And the Shield team ability, Willpower means he can kind of move himself around, position himself, not get too tokened up. He can, you know, activate the Shield team ability potentially yeah. a lot. He He's such a just a... Activate Shield every, like, every time, yeah, potentially. Yeah, right? Um, it's, it's so cool. Like, his sculpt isn't crazy. Like, it doesn't need to be. He's no. just, like, kind of bystander, skinny Steve Rogers. Um, I still feel messed up. They have to call him Skinny. Steve. <laughs> there's there's no like, other Steve ah, yeah. in the set, right? I mean, technically, yeah, there's no other, uh, there's no other Steve song, Rogers. But like, yeah. there's, there's no other Steve Rogers in the set. So I wonder. I just I wonder why. I, I don't know. I wonder if it's like a Marvel thing where Marvel's like, no, you have to call him Skinny Steve. I forgot. Not to Steve like Rogers. Look up IMDb hey, Steve. and see if if the that's what he's called call in the show. Steve, oh gosh, it'd be so funny. Do, then it's like. Yeah, that's Unless, what he like, is. What if they just give if they just gave Wiz Kids uh, these like outlines of the episodes, synopsis yeah, of so the episode? Got a Steve Rogers, yeah, but he's like skinny Steve, right? And Wiz Kids was like skinny Steve. Good, yeah, write that down. That's skinny good, Steve skinny Rogers. Steve. That's good. That's good. Uh, nah, dude, I think he's like for a shield and soldier team. He's like five stars for me. A cheap leadership, fifteen point soldier like shield leadership. Is amazing the willpower is great a nine for two isn't amazing but that means if he gets based he can like potentially hit someone yeah which is he cool you know yeah amazing. kill bystanders which is sweet you know four range like a four range leadership is so awesome for like positioning wise because he doesn't have sidestep so like that's the issue with him a little bit but like that's solved by the four range leadership or being able to be carried just five star piece in my opinion i love skinny steve shield and soldier teams are so much better with him on them we used to have like a build called the big tony cannon which was also a 15 Ooh, point true that true could, back when perplex could modify damage you could make one big tony like a, uh, i think a 12 for five or 12 for seven right. Right. Um, you can't bump his attack but you could have a seven range five damage skinny steve damage if you play enough skinny steves yes and they, yes, they all have do that. So, it's like, so good. Uh, no, this is oh, a big dude. I, keep I know what I'm doing of, now. Um, yeah, just because 
like like Calder said, great on those theme team, like those keywords, great on those. Yeah. But also just a 15-point leadership with shield is a ton of utility. Uh, he's probably not taking any like tokens off anybody, but he's just a plus one action total to any non theme team. That's that's worth fifty. It's points. solid. Uh, next up is the Scarlet Witch. All I can say about this figure is like the level of detail work for a common on it is really amazing. Um, Avengers yep. Initiative is up like it's spread throughout this set really well. Um, Mystics is also spread throughout this set a lot. Avengers Celebrity Mystical. She's got an attack dial where she's running shot energy explosion and ESD. And then she's got a dial that's half that cost, 30 points, less than half that cost, where she's a force blast defend and support piece, but still has like decent damage output. Um, I've only ever played her at the 70 point line. I think on very specific builds, I could see playing her at the defend support. But usually, oh man, I just, I'm not really like big into healing in games. Like if I get onto my like regen click, I usually just keep attacking. I'm not big into yeah. like the try and try and heal people back up kind of thing. So it's not really my flavor, but she's a solid like six range, two lightning bolts. Does start with running shot at 70 points. Um, does start with flight. Has all the keywords that you'll see throughout the rest of the set. So she's definitely a Wanda that you can utilize. Um, I'd give it like a three out of five yeah. for a new player. Yeah. Cause it's, so it's a cool Scarlet Witch. Like for, for flavor wise, I like it. It goes from like the run gun, oh, witch in town. Mm-hmm. To, and like to me the back half dial is like mom, witch, like, ah, oh, stay away from my kids, force blast, you know, defend and heal. Um and that's that's what's kinda neat. What they were able to do by keeping a dial super simple, yeah, it's nothing special then by that default, but it still gives you the flavor of how she is in the show, which is nice which I think is like well accomplished by this style even though it's nothing special it's still just like oh well still feels like oh it's Scarlet Witch being superpower Scarlet Witch and like there's you know Wanda Maximoff being a mom you know without any traits without any craziness yeah and that gets it through which is neat I just uh, like, same thing with like I like the ridiculous like layer of details that they put on her is, like, clothes dude. She yeah, has a complicated a texture. tailed costume. Yeah. I don't know how they do it because, like, it's I, like she has like two kind of capes. She's got like this like waist. I don't know what the heck you call it, like half skirt thing. But then she has like an actual like cloak. Or is that what we decided it was called was a capelet. A capelet, sure. <laughs> I, I think know. so. I think someone I corrected think, us yeah. and was like, "It's called a capelet." Uh, I don't like, know. There's like a dragon scaling like texture kind of thing to that, uh, and then her other cape thing is like smooth. So it's they, okay. they went with two different textures, and they really didn't have to. But they like they Love they, they did that for us. Uh, but no, yeah. I was like I said this during my unboxing of it, and uh, like great timing with Multiverse of Madness coming. Oh out. yeah, this yeah. outfit is really solid. I'll be able to hand yep. these out to like new players, and they'll like be like, "Oh yeah, I saw." <laughs> She's about to I saw murderize the Illuminati. I saw her in the movie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, dang, dude, we're just gonna say a spoiler like that for Multiverse of Madness. Zam, mm. uh, Next up, we do have uh, her hubby here, Vision, <clears throat> who also is the same like split dial uh, type thing, where he's a charge quake vulnerability like tough like dense vision and then he goes to that transparent yeah, whatever phase easy phase vision phase. so it's yeah. phasey with the rollouts but no reducers super senses it change which is cool it's yeah the intangibility that's the word thank you um but he does have a trait uh, it's all right wanda i know why you made this world it's passenger three but only to carry characters with the celebrity keyword so now celebrity has a bus besides leela cheney they have a modern bus it's a it's a pretty cheap bus, 30, 30 points, points, only yeah. only moving eight yeah. squares, but phasing pretty nice. Uh, helps you if you lose map roll and stuff. You can phase through whatever your opponent puts you on, which is really really cool. Um, and you know it's specifically like yo, know, you carry Wanda, you carry the two kids. That's the passenger three again. With a very simple trait. They've made a very thematic vision for the show without making him crazy, like making him very simple to understand right. as a common. That being said, I you know I'm not gonna constructed pay 70 points for this oh, vision no. probably ever <laughs> um 
it's a thirty-point line visions, for a double but... rollout. Yeah, there's better visions, but like and I've, I, thirty yeah, point line is sealed. All it is fine. Yeah, is that that double rollout and sealed? If your opponent doesn't have enough outwit to get rid of both, yeah. Um, I've also played him at seventy and sealed just because he's like a decent bruiser, and there's no way he is. Yeah, no, he is sealed. Like there's um, not. And... The sculpt is also cool. Like it's still got the vision that texture. Cape. It still looks really nice. That cape is cool. Yeah. The cape is like, I mean, obviously most hero clicks are slightly flexible, but the cape itself is like quite flexible. And then it's got this very, I... it's almost like as guardian where it's like a magic, like techno organic kind Ooh. of look to it. Um, very, yeah. very cool. Um, he was part of the ones that I well, dropped. Uh, Amy. <laughs> No, so like I no. actually I really like that vision for multiple reasons, um, but mostly the sculpt. The sculpt is really solid. Uh, the paint job that most of mine got was like exceptionally well done. And speaking of exceptionally well done paint jobs, we've got zero uh, zero five Captain America. So if you ever needed a bunch of Captain America shields, like this is the oh, yeah. water for you because. One of the best, like, Captain America shields on a common that I think we've gotten in a long time. Um, obviously, like, the suit itself, really cool. I really liked this version of Sam. Um, as far as, like, a figure goes, he's a 12-speed taxi, or he's a 12-speed uh, charge, where, like, he can charge to 6, which is pretty darn quick mm. for a 45-point common. He can start with Steve's uh, shield, which gives him the what esd so he's a 20 from range he does have to close the gap but a he also 21 has from range simeon because oh, right. he already has esd yeah ESD. yeah yep. so he's a 21 from range uh if you pay the plus five points and uh if you don't then he's just uh a 20 from range top dial with traded yep. force blast which also just gives you knockback so if you want to charge up oh. hit somebody knock him back that whole thing um, that's that's the important thing about this and they did this a lot with all the sam wilson's in this set they gave him some form of knockback when he's on charge just to go against how goop is an absolute idiot and that his brain is made of goop who says i hate 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 esd on charge pieces and, like he does say he says he knows a force blast but like bro goop an idiot dog you charge in you hit him you knock him back because like that's how force blast works and then bada bing bada boom now they are like Three, four, whatever squares away from you. Two squares, excuse me. No, three squares. Exactly yeah, three squares away from three, you. Or it's just and three now. Knockback's always it, three it, now. And it's cool that it works because Sam has four range. They're still within Sam's range. Sam's got ESD, so he's protected now. And he can still charge, punch people, and then next turn he can shoot them. Maybe he knocked them off their sidestep or knocked them off their charge or something. Like, it's it's smart game design. And it's simple game design for, like, making Sam work really well. Because, I mean, how many times does he, like... I up to someone and just like drop kick him, you know, like oh, yeah. a lot. It's kind in of his show, move in that show. That like, was like his whole thing was, yeah, was, like, fly up and like either blast them with his wings or fly up right. and like kick him like back a few feet or whatever. And he might engage him like hand to hand, a little bit, closer, but, but like his yeah. initial attack was always like I'm gonna like just kick you back. And then you've got a four range, yeah. which so no matter what you knock him back, it's gonna be within his range. Um, yeah, and then he pairs well. He pairs extremely well with Bucky because, or Winter Soldier, because of that uh, enhancement. Right. There's not a ton yeah. of damage boosting outside of the like the shield team ability in this set. Um, so yeah, pulling that guy in sealed is great. Um, just because yeah, of that, dude. that plus one damage for range. So and I've they they a pop in a lot of packs together. So like just to keep talking about like Winter Soldier here. They definitely do. But reflex is traded, leap climb traded. So he's like even though he's the running shot guy, he has the combat reflexes. I'm gonna take from close. I'm gonna take an old um, Dale Suderman from uh, Elseworlds, and I'm gonna steal the basketball from him, and give him to this Winter Soldier because he's like doing like a dribble with his hand. He's like yeah, his hands his hands like this. For like some reason, it's like a little L shape. He's gonna chop <laughs> yeah, something. Doing, like he's I, doing the old uh, Captain Kirk, mm. yeah, yeah, neck chop or whatever. I don't, I don't get sculpt so much on this Winter Soldier. Um, it's weird how much smaller he is than the Super Winter Soldier. Like the other Winter Soldier is like actually like it looks like this one's almost an old scale, and then the Super Rare is a new scale. That's like how different the Winter yes. Soldier sculpt I mean, are. He's like, like bigger, up, he's weird, dude. He's huge. Hero click scale. 
but I'd say he's yeah. like almost a foot shorter than Sam. Tiny. He's tiny for some reason. It's weird. But like, he works so well with Sam. Like, we, we've talked about this a lot. He's at the normal, even 50 points. Um, he has the whole special of power, like attack power on his first click and last three clicks, where it's once per turn when he's placed. After resolutions, you may give an action token to an adjacent opposing character, which is really funny. Yeah. Uh, to show him, like, falling out of, like, the plane <laughs> and hitting all the trees and stuff, just hilarious. Uh, but yeah, it's like, all right, before, like, Winter Soldier running shots or moves or whatever, he's, like, next to Sam. He shoots, he gets the enhancement 11 for 4. Sam Wilson then carries Winter Soldier to pick up the Empower to be an 11 for 4. And then after that, we also put Winter Soldier, like, adjacent. You know, so when he's placed, it happens like right away, obviously at the end of the like move and they get a token and then they get also pushed back. Like it's so dope. It, it, they work so well together. Standalone. It is a little weird, like running shot with combat reflexes. You know what I mean? Um, and like leap climb and all that jazz. But uh, his style just works. It's really cool. For 50 points, he stays in it very well. Avengers, Soldier, Wakanda, very good keywords. Cool that he's got. Man, does King Wakanda have a comment on this HD Realms? No, he doesn't. That's sad. Um, but uh, I don't know. I like it. I like the synergy that they did for Captain America and Winter Soldier in this so much. It's, it's really fun. Uh, yeah. For me, I don't know. 3.5, 4. It's definitely one solid, of those, solid Winter Soldier. Those duos that like they didn't explicitly put two traits in where it's like if they're next to the character named this. I, but man, like it's, it's almost better. It obvious <laughs> where like now, like their dials they, just they work meant together. To be played together, like one can carry yeah. and drop off. Um, one has empower. One has enhancement. One has six range. One has four. One is mostly close attacks. One's mostly range attacks. Like right. they couldn't have made it more obvious, like how well these guys are supposed to like kind of mesh together. Um, yeah. Next up, we got good old TVA Loki, um, as I've been calling him. This guy's interesting i'll say like i have not had an easy time playing against him so he comes in at 70 or 35 points and like all the other lokis he can optionally equip the tesseract which gives him phasing and then after he uses phasing he gets to use prob for the rest of that turn uh so he has shape change for if you play him at 70 points it's his first two clicks and if you play him at 35 points it's his first two clicks so no matter what you play him at it's two clicks that he gets this shape change when he uses it after resolutions you can place him a number of squares away from his current square equal to the d6 result i was playing against this in sealed and the guy i was playing against hit like five shape changes in a row and so like not only did i have to reposition my team every single time it just like so it's like not only can i not attack him it's like the follow-up tack that i had planned is now no longer useful because he like moved six squares away and now he's in stealth like he put him in hindering and so it's like well now i can't do my like running shot that i was going to follow up with right. and i can't outwit him like i was going to like all this other stuff um as guardian deity future mystical past this isn't like the first loki that i would pick in the set but with the tesseract i think this one becomes a lot more utility the fact that he can be yeah. played at 35 points and doesn't really lose a ton of well, actually, I think he's actually almost better at 35 points because, uh, or 40 with the Tesseract because he's I like it a lot. Two rollouts with stealth. Yeah. Uh, whereas top dial at 70 points, he's only got that 19 defense for close and hopefully they're just still nice finishes. with stealth, though. Right. It is still nice. Yeah, but yeah. It is. It is like a rollout and a 19 is pretty solid. Put like Wanda next to him and it's a 21. Yeah. Um, the uncommon Wanda, obviously. Uh, Mystics is plentiful in this set. That hurts so bad when you don't have a ton of Invincible. Man, like so many of my teams, I'd get down to the last two characters and they'd still have like um, Strange Supreme at like like top dial. And I'd be like, yeah, you just win because if I hit every attack that I make for the rest of the game, I will die from Mystics alone. Like you don't even have to attack me anymore. I just will die. Uh, but no, I like this guy. I like the blades. Um, the blades is really cool. The incapacitate, I could take or leave. The bottom dial, perplex, same. Like it's nice when it pops up because perplex is always welcome in like my kind of builds. Oh, yeah. But no, I I think this is a very good take on the TV Loki, the TVA Loki, where he wasn't like he wasn't running and gunning. He wasn't like an Asgardian really at this point. He was, I... you know, he he took his nine to five job and he was like. <laughs> 
wow, you know, he was helping people. He's just trying to get through the day, man. <laughs> right. This is yeah. Really, like, had his world flipped upside down when he realized the Tesseract was a paperweight. <sighs> it's hilarious, but yeah. Um, next up, I love this chick. She's great. She's thick. You know how it is. It's Darcy Lewis, and it, it's Doctor Lewis. Thank you very much. Uh, Darcy is stealth. She's twenty five points. Uh, she's got the shield TA, which we've already said. Boom, love the shield TA on cheap figures. Is guardian celebrity sword meh scientist, but scientist celebrity are really really strong keywords right now. I love that she has as guardian because as guardian can always use more like cheap support. She has just the special damage power, which is outwit perplex. So like stealth, you keep her safe. She's got four clicks long, so she's not super easily one shotted. Um, she's definitely not making attacks. So that eight for one, uh, she does go down to a six for one and a fourteen defense, which is comically hilarious in today's game. But uh, do 25 points for an Outwit Perplex Shield TA figure. Like, in one turn, she can buff your range, buff your damage, buff your attack, and then Outwit an opposing character's defense, uh, and you just destroy them. Like, she helps you out so much. She's just such an awesome, awesome support. So, like, I would have liked yeah. a, an alternate, like, similar to Dr. or Mr. Oz. Similar to Mr. Oz. I would have liked a 50-point line where when she goes from click four... Like, if you don't pay for, like, the 50 points, she's KO'd. But there's, like, you know, that red sure. line that separates. And then clicks five and six. So, like, five would have been, like, a stop click. And it would have given her, like, the RAM ability. And it would have been, like, commandeered ice cream truck or whatever. Um, from that, like, that. Oh, that would funny. Yeah, yeah that would have been really funny. Uh, yeah, like, okay, I see the RAM mean. ability, you get, like, an yeah. 11 for three or something. Um, I don't know, maybe like some sort of like retail to like protect the kids or I don't know, something. I don't I don't remember that episode a ton, but like that would have been really funny. Um, also just like made her a little bit more than like an amazing support piece for sure. Because I mean, I think people have already yeah. been building teams with her. Um, I know like I've played her every time I've pulled it and sealed. Uh, but this is like, once again, a figure I'm keeping two of. Shield is a great asset on teams having a plus two oh, yeah. range automatically without doing anything having a potential plus two damage is pretty cool and then oh. double perplex outwit so playing two of these is like a no-brainer if i'm building with any of these keywords and i have the room for it but yeah otherwise just an outwit perplex like that's basically for 25 points she's basically like an alex wilder she doesn't get that prob mm, yeah unless you're on no the prob but, like, yeah. She's essentially a uh, 25 point Alex Wilder with a plus one range. Um, Better Alex Wilder, if you will, because you yeah. always get outweighed perplex. Also, Darcy's a true OG and doesn't doesn't switch the tie to battle. Yeah, and that's right. Betray you. She exactly. stays on your side until she is KO'd. She will not flip flop. Uh, next up is uh, Killmonger. He's pretty simple. He has basically two dials i mean he's got a 60 point line and a 30 point line exactly point costed the same for three clicks each each dial is 10 points uh 10 points per click so uh, his bottom dial is charge blades toughness leadership his top dial is running shot energy explosion willpower outwit he has two lightning bolts and six range soldier stark industries wakanda and warrior and then he has traded stealth i mean for nice. 30 points like I wasn't going to keep two of these at first, and then I was like, I kept Dolphin because it had charge blades. So maybe I'll keep Killmonger because it has, like, keep two charge Killmongers because it has charge oh. blades. Yeah. Uh, I don't really need the 60-point, like, running shot outwit part, um, especially with that, like, willpower. But, like, that yeah. toughness, blades, it's uh, 30 points that ties you up and has leadership and has stealth. Like, that's good enough for me. It's cool. Just like we didn't have a movie kill longer. Um I feel like this does kind of like fit him a little bit, like running shot and energy explosion when he's kinda like running and gunning earlier, burn burn it down and all that. And then like the end of the movie where he's just like punching it up as like a Black Panther clone like that he is, kind of near the end of it, which is really cool. But um just dig it. I dig it a lot. Like I see what they're trying to go for. Like if you're running a gun and you're staying in stealth, then you just want to try to keep being as active as possible, rolling willpower, yeah, outwitting, we'll potentially helping you out. But the charge blades and then cheap leadership again, cheap leadership, thirty point 
uh, warrior uh, industries. You don't really have to worry about leadership on a Wakanda team. I think almost no, everybody's got it. There's plenty. Um, of, yeah, plenty it's of super. Well. It's still awesome. Like he's such a he's just such a dope figure. And then getting the um, I'm forgetting the actor's name. You know, Michael Jordan. Michael oh, B. Yeah, Jordan. B. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Uh, like, in no clicks. Like, that look is dope. Yeah. There's no... Uh, I, he doesn't play basketball. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, the... For a common, the actual, like, facial structure is surprising. Like, I could probably tell you that this is, like, Michael B. Jordan if I didn't know already. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, the sculpt-wise, like, the torso, they did a ton of, like, detail work on that, like, metal armor chest piece, which is really cool. And then, like, there are tiny little grenades on his belt. So, I don't know. Like, overall, yeah. like, sculpt-wise, I give it, like, a 4 out of 5. Um, utility, it's it's more along, like, a 2 or 3. Like, it's not something that I'm going to play all the time, but it's something I'll play casually yeah. plenty of times. Just It's, like, decent, you it's know? It's probably one of the best 30-point Wakanda pieces in, like, yeah. in like a golden so. age, like, grab whatever kind of situation. Because... Yeah. I think for the same points, like the Wakanda Warriors are like a nine attack and precision strike or something. So you play him with ADW, Super Rare Black Panther, and he's on an 11 attack. You add Wakabi, and he's an 18 defense. You know, you do all the Wakanda yeah. tricks, he gets all the boosts. You play that Ellie Storm, he's got, oh wait, he's already got traded stealth. Never mind. Ooh. Don't do that. Exactly. Yeah, you don't need it. Um, next up, though, Gamora, daughter of Thanos. Uh, I haven't played this, have her used against me, which sucks. Uh, that Guardian's TA, so that we, uh, opposing characters can modify her deeper values at all, is really good. The Charge, Quake, Close Combat Expert, Exploit Weakness, her mini uh, Sky Tyrant-ness here going on with the Charge, Quake, Exploit Weakness with CCE is really good. I mean, a 12 for 4 uh, with 10 speed, so 5 charge. Quake, Exploit is good. The plus 1 to attack is good, and then... It's also just when she uh, KOs an opposing character after resolutions heal her two clicks. That's a special damage power. She has her entire dial. More than you would think. Like, it, yeah. It you mean you played her? Like, off. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I mean, I guess it can technically be outwitted, you know, since at sure. least it's a damage power. But it, like, yeah, it can. Uh, not a ton in sealed. You know, it doesn't happen a lot. Yeah. Uh, but assassin, black order, cosmic, guardians of the galaxy, minions of Thanos, ruler, warrior. Tons of keywords. Ruler seems a bit weird. Uh, but then going on down to flurry, you know. Then she still is that close combat expert. She's still an 11 for 4 on that click 4. Where he is super nice. And then an 8, or 12 for 4, I should say. And then she's always doing 4 damage close with the uh, with the close combat expert. Always doing penetrating damage up close. Double targets, like, a solid close combat little beat stick. And, like, again, double we have target. so many Gamoras. We have double so many Gamoras in modern, dude. 12 Quake, that's bad damage. Yeah. Is a great combo. No. And then Flurry Blades, that's a, tw like, you know, plus one attack, plus one damage with Flurry, also exploit, or Blades exploit. Like, yeah. You don't really ever need to roll Blades with her, but, like, it's always an option. I wouldn't, but this is, you can. This is a figure, every time I pulled her in Sealed, I played it. Like, yeah. it always... She's good. I always found the She's good on the team, because she hits, like, a truck, and those figures with, like, you know, like, Ultron Infinity, Fears, Daughter of Thanos, like... Just absolutely. You hit Ultron for four pen damage on his impervious. Like, all of a sudden, he's not so crazy looking. All right. Uh, next up, Hunter B15. Real name unknown. Mm. Uh, I should look up to see like who the actress was that played this. But for 30 points, you get PD. You get phasing, which works well with Mobius M. Mobius. Uh, she's got incapacitate when Hunter B15 uses it after resolutions. Hit characters give, hit characters given an action token are knocked back three squares in any direction of your choosing. Being able to choose knockback is cool. Um, having it combined with phasing, where like you have to play another character to be able to like utilize this in the same turn. Uh, she's essentially a thirty point tie up piece, which five clicks long, also doing pen damage. Also, like, solid values. Like, she doesn't, with Close Combat Expert, doesn't go below a 10 attack, like, her entire dial for 30 points. Two Lightning Bolts, four range, PD. She is okay for what she does. Um, I will say she's got future past police and soldier keywords. Police obviously has enough PD, so she's not adding a ton to that. But, like, past and future don't get a ton of PD. And so, on those teams, 
if you need PD, if you're copying it, um, obviously like helps with like any range attacks that you're doing. I've used her for like just tie up stuff. She's got decent defense values, and then um, if you play her with the Owen Wilson of clicks, the MMM hey. Triple M as as uh, the WWE calls him, uh, she is like a viable option phasing like four squares and then doing pen damage like three pen damage it did happen to me and i tried to pull it off a few times i never pulled it off myself but i did see it happen but no it's yeah for more like one of like i wouldn't even call it a more minor character but um cool character arc like she does get like a cool character arc yeah she's one of like the few um tva like characters that like changes their mind and like actually like flips but yeah like sees the light uh yeah. my boy Bruce st pierre at rock here uh dude, i mean he's a uh he's a charged piece that ignores characters that's already really awesome he's got like a super dynamic cool sculpt as far as like batch rock batch rock always has great sculpts and actually, in the winter soldier he had a really bad one he's just sort of like standing there that wasn't great but this one very mobile doing this little spinny drop kick thing for 30 points, you get a six-click long dial. That's five points per click, which is already incredible. Um, he can charge up. He'll be a 12 for three, maybe a 12 for four. You pick up that light object. Um, he'll deal someone a ton of damage. Probably take some hits. You know, he's got nothing for yeah. defense, top dial. Five he goes on to combat click. reflexes. But, like, Not five points per click, have a dude. Reducer. Like, it's awesome. They probably won't one-shot him. They definitely won't one-shot him in sealed. Oh, making him a 19 for close where like he's probably close. Nice. Map. Yeah, he's super good. He's got that flurry, which is dope. Like sure, he's a two damage the whole time. But like he's 30 points, man. He's just he's so good for 30 yeah. points. He has like so much like not like a ton of utility, but like what he does, he does well, you know, so like he's dope. This is I, I love him for 30 points. Definitely pick him up. Yeah, hey, I kind of want to run a lot. I uh, he's yeah. probably going to be my uh, my Christmas team this year. Um, I think it's 10 Lords of Leaping, so 10 of him is exactly 300 points, and I got my 10 Leapers, and then it's, yeah, there's Batch Rock. Yeah, the only counter is, uh, once he only does 2 damage, he can't. Right. It's going to be a little rough. The but, only counter is, like, cool. it's fun. Three, 3 damage energy explosion. Three damage energy explosion. explosion. It's, yeah. It's not much of a counter. It's pretty bad. Uh, no, this is a character we'll that I, I'm keeping two of. them, though. Um, I had, like, four five or six Molly Hayes, like the, the runaways Ooh. Molly Hayes. I think she Ooh. was 25 points. It was a very similar Ooh. reason. So she was like a 10 for four or something, but this guy yeah. being a 12 for three, I can see like carrying hey. up like a handful of them. And An object. Yeah. For four. Yeah. Like I, I can see it, like dude. it, like being a team that I run it's it, like in casual settings. It's very frustrating to have to deal like that much damage to all these low point figures, and yeah. then still have all these viable threats on the board. Um, so, like as my opponents like have told me, that it's very fun. frustrating. But like it's very fun for me because like you can kill as many as you want, and I still have yeah. like six left that are twelve for three, and they're gonna definitely hit you because like you know you've only got like an eighteen or nineteen defense. Next up, T'Challa Star Lord. This is a character that I, I love for the sculpt. I loved that episode. Um, yeah. The, like, dial-wise, it's just not, like, one of, like, my favorites. Um, had they given him a split dial between the, like, a 50-point line and a 25-point line, he would have had, like, some real utility bottom dial. He's always worked out for me when I play him in sealed because he is a taxi. He is pen damage. An 11 for 3 is nothing to, like, scoff at. A 19 defense from range top dial is good. And then that stealth combat reflexes is good down dial. But, like, he that's just all he does. He's just, you know, he is what he is. He's exactly what you see on dial. It's not necessarily like I wanted to see more flavor with the traits and stuff, but um, that episode was... They, like, gave Star-Lord, like, a whole lot... Or, like, T'Challa, Star-Lord specifically. They gave him a whole lot more characterization than, like, the actual Star-Lord. The, uh... What's his name? Um, Yep. Can't think of it. Quill. Peter Quill. Yeah. Peter Quill. Quill. Yeah. Peter Quill. There you go. You got it. Star-Lord was able to... I would have liked to have gotten one that had, like, a convince your, like, enemy kind of thing. Like, because he he convinced Thanos not to, like, 
seek out the infinity gems to wipe out half the like, that is that's yeah. worthy of having like a incredible that does something i don't know what but like man um really cool character uh, i love that this version is the common because it's a very like the purple mask and like purple guns and everything very cool yeah. keywords are guardians of the galaxy pirate ravagers and wakanda um he definitely worked for me in sealed whenever i used him i'm keeping one for sure but like i just i don't see him you like being on anything yeah. other than a guardians team that i make and like that's that's basically all i'm ever going to use him on that's fair um yeah next up we have uh monica rambo she I, I I think she's lame. I think a lot of people do really like her. I, I can't get behind her. Um, but she does have the whole special... This is still good. Uh, power, choose an opposing character within range and line of fire. Until your next turn, Monica gains immobile. When the chosen character attacks, they can only target a character named Monica. So obviously, theoretically, if you are with her no sidestep, then it's still a power action. It only has full range. She doesn't see through anything. You have to then uh, see a character be like, Oh, you have to hit me. Then if all of that lines up and she hits shape change, then it's like, well, shoot, my biggest, beefiest character no longer makes an attack this turn. And that sucks. Or maybe you hit and she misses shape change and then she makes super senses and you're like, ah, poopy. And that sucks. Um, also, the power can be outwitted. It's just, ah, for me, for 25 yeah. points, for what she does, I just I think a lot of people really like her. She's not for me. And Monica in that show also just wasn't for me either. Um, Celebrity sword, fine. But let's look at it this way. A common piece of shape change and super senses, and then have a stop click it's super so senses. Much, like just it's like a lot the, uh, to chew through. For 25 points, it's a lot to get through, and it's very annoying. It's just like the spooktacular characters. It's like this, yeah, it's so, dude. But it's like so annoying for so little points. Like you want to like outwit both powers and just like hit her twice. Yeah. And it just doesn't like come out that way, and it's just so annoying that you have to sink so much it effort is. into a twenty-five point piece. So you end up like pretty much ignoring it. I will say yeah. a utility that like she kind of has. I think obviously if that attack power was free instead of power, she would be way way better. Uh, you'd be able to carry yeah. her up and then do it. But um, a utility that she does have is also uh, targeting an opposing character that's like maybe like a colossal retaliator and. Then if Monica, if they can only yeah. attack Monica and Monica did not attack an opposing character, then they just don't get to retaliate against like friendly, like your friendly characters. Oh. So that is cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's just, no. I mean, it's almost impossible to get her across. It's a lot to, to set her up. Yeah, for an, a, a retal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would be a lot. Like, I mean, if she's like in the back line and like they already retaliated and then she. Does oh, it, sure. You know, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you lock them down. But yeah, it's it's yeah. not likely. I think her oh. actual attack power kicks off oh. almost never. But she's also shield for 25 and then just yeah. hard to deal with and not worth dealing with unless like. Unless the rest of the force is pretty much gone. Because sinking two outwits or, you know, like tempo plus diamond patch to get rid of like that stuff. Uh, plus Dakin so that she can't use stop click. I don't know. Whatever combo you're doing to kill a 25 point piece, it's rough. Um, you know what else is rough? It's close up magic. I don't trust it. Oh, baby. <laughs> Chris Angel, get out of my face. That's what I always say. Um, no, Jimmy Woo here for 20 points. He is just a, he's a simple man doing a simple job. He's got celebrity, detective, mystical, police, and sword keywords. He's got the police team ability, four range, one lightning bolt. Not a slouch in damage department. He is a 10 for two oh. and a nine for two. Um, he has four clicks, so five clicks for each, or five points for each click. Whole dial of plasticity, and then it's just two clicks of perplex, two clicks of empower. Um, you know what you're playing him for. like, oh. Yeah. He's, he's a very simple character. Very simple oh. design. He does the thing good. Uh, the PD team ability obviously can help. Um, you can perplex, then carry him, and like running shot and use the PD. So you can boost your attack, drop their defense, for all for 20 points. He's like a skeet's light, almost. And then if he gets hit down dial, he boosts uh, close attacks. So, you know. Not a bad investment for 20 points um, on any of those keywords. 
Uh, next up, though, to round out the commons, we have uh, Dancing Boy himself, Helmet Zero, Baron Zemo here, Assassin, Masters of Evil, Ruler, Soldier, and Spy. One of my favorite figures in this set to come out. He's got a full dial willpower. He's 30 points. Four clicks long. He has Passenger 2, Leap Climb Stealth as his special speed power. So he's a solid taxi. He's nine squares, which is decent, decent amount of, like, you know, ground to cover Leap climb so he's awesome for outdoor maps and then stealth which keeps him safe but even then he's an 18 defense and an 11 for three yeah. with four range so the he's like times i've dealt damage with this guy because yeah. there's not a ton of reducers in like the like the comms and yeah. the uncommons the amount of times oh. this guy's hit somebody like one of the spooktacular characters or something oh sure yeah 11 for three is not for 30 points yeah. i mean it's pretty solid it's really good. I mean, it's not the same um, as like a twelve for four, you know, whatever. Um, like so it, I like it a lot. There, um, there isn't really a cheap ruler bus, and that's no. awesome. So I mean, there's not really an assassin bus or a masters of evil bus. Even it's sure it's only two characters, but the still, that ruler would be like Spider Pharaoh. Yes, yeah, you're right. Never mind. That would points. that's definitely the ruler boss for double the points. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she is probably worth double the points. But anyways, but I mean, like for Masters of Evil, there's no boss for Masters of Evil. They don't have a taxi, so like being able to take two people, leap climb stealth nine squares, you know, so put them in the the tenth or technically twelfth square of the map, get them halfway up the map. This move is super nice. For Masters of Evil, uh, soldier spy, like it's it's just good. Dude, he's awesome. I love this Baron Zemo. Uh, he gives you that cheap leadership. 11 for three he's no slouch in that department it's it's just incredible he's he's really really good i think everybody should have one he's got great keywords uh for just a great little uh oh come a lot i right, dude 10 out of 10 uh, yeah. love it yeah yeah uh no he's he's good um once again like it was hard not to play all these 30 point pieces whenever you pulled them, but unlike the vision that carries three celebrity characters, carrying just passenger two, leap climb stealth, instant taxi, like for yeah. any sealed game. Carry anyone, um, no restrictions. Then, yeah, it's leadership. Dope. So, like, the last sealed game that I played, I had four leaderships. Half of them didn't actually pull tokens off, but. You know, mid game when a few of my characters were dead, I still had like two or three leaderships, or I still had at least one leadership. Having four actions in a 300 point game is important enough to like invest yes. in that. And for 30 points, yeah, he definitely fills two slots, which is great taxi. Uh, the willpower, being able to pull people out of adjacency, also just as important as yeah. like putting them into adjacency. Uh, next up, the first uncommon post-apocalyptic Black Widow. Very cool sculpt. Um, very cool episode. I really liked this episode. Very, very plain like figure overall, though. So for 50 points, you get 5 range, 2 lightning bolts, running shot, precision strike with ranged combat expert. So she's a 12 for 3 top dial. She does have an 18 toughness. She has a mid dial where she goes to plasticity, blades, super senses and close combat expert this is a figure that i think when whiz kids was like privy to like some of the details of the what if series i don't think they got the full details of this episode because like this character does a lot like there's a lot of there's a lot of emotion that goes into this episode and there's also a lot of just like flavor that goes into this episode and um steel energy and stealth like that might be like how she survived but that's not like the the black the post-apocalyptic black widow that we see she's definitely not being very stealthy she's like you know last ditch effort this is like gotta go get this shield I mean, a little bit dude <laughs> like really. kind of a, a touch like in the beginning she is like on the run from the ultron bots and trying to like yeah i follow them and everything and that's and i so, do yeah. really like the two lightning bolts because like i th right. think when she's first running from them she's like doing like the double gun on the motorcycle thing yeah. um, but no it's a it's a very cool sculpt i think it's worth collecting for that alone it's definitely feels like black widow with stealth steel energy is slightly strange combined with survival tactics because i'm like mm, is she like blades claws is she fangsing them is she is she eating human flesh in this post apocalypse fangsing them 
Like I know, I know that's a that's a trait you can take in uh, Fallout, uh, but uh, uh, I don't know. Are you okay? Uh, a little strange, but okay. <laughs> All right, Simeon. All right, okay. Speaking of a little strange. Um, speaking of a little strange, we have Doctor we have, Strange. Big old strange. Dream. Big strange, dude. 195 points. 200 points if you take the sidestep plasticity fight cape. Uh, in constructed, you gotta play him with. Sealed, he's already really, really good, but where his downfall lies is not being able to like get away easily from being based, not yeah. being able to fly over not people. Being able to fly. That's what cuts him. That's what hurts him really yeah, badly in Sealed. It almost does, because he's still a 12 for 4. Right. He's so much mystics and invincible. Yeah. He's still a so, nightmare. The 295 I've point line. I've never I'll say every time well, I play against the 200 point one. I've not. That's the difference between you and I, Simeon. Is I have one against this guy. Yeah. I ain't no scrub. Uh, I'm wow. scrub out. No, but he's a, yeah, he's a 13 for five. Like 12 for four. And then RCE 12 speed, six movement, eight range, two targets. So he's a 14 square reach with our cosmic sticks and a 10 click long dial with re and steel energy stealth outwit in those last two clicks. He's insane. He just, he is insane, period. ESD invincible on a 19 defense top dial. He's really, really good. He's he's gross, man. I'm not saying he's super gross. I will say um, a little bit easier to take down in constructed. I still think a super strong piece, though, at the 200 oh, yeah. point line in constructed. Like, so good. At 100 points, you just get a little mini taste of him. You get the... Uh, he had a 12 for 4, running shot pen blast, and then he, he instantly then goes on to his... These are some bummer clicks, I won't lie, but hopefully if they've clo closed the gap to you, it's not as bad. Your uh, pulse wave with probability control, but then you just... Then you lose your invincible for the rest of the dial. Uh, it's just it's just protecting yeah, you, which can be pretty no rough. Back. Um, but yeah. Which that it's, invincible uh, top dial is, is rough when you've got mystics. It's tough, it's, dude. It's really tough. Especially in sealed. There's, I think, only like four or five characters in sealed that reduce pen damage and he's one of them not so. much yeah it yeah, helps him he's he blasting so much all the light, other dude. mystical characters for however much he, damage um, and not taking any feedback probably the best thing is like these kids i don't know how much information they had for this doctor strange supreme when they're making it but he feels powerful he looks like someone who absorbed creatures and creatures and creatures worth of energy and magic to be a big powerful strong wizard man uh he feels dastardly and evil too. What can I say? Those all black clicks on the end, that, that bad guy vibe or something for some reason. I don't know. But the stealth steel entry, it's cool. I like when they do the all one color power clicks. Those are always fun. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Like but like bottom, yeah, yeah, top bottom, like all the same color. They do a lot with red. They do that a lot. They do that with gray, red, and black. I can remember. I don't know about many others, but I know um, I've seen that. Yeah, there was before. like a Harley that had like an all gold. Where it was like hypersonic poison, Did she? pervious perplex. Flex? Okay. Uh, oh, it was like, Lantern Harley, yeah. Yeah, the Lantern Harley. I, yeah, sure. I remember that one specifically because that's not like a combo you see a whole lot like hypersonic and poison. Oh, but, uh, uh, never. Yeah. Uh, no, I, this Doctor Strange is awesome. Pick him up. If you can track down that cloak, he's instantly, like, he's already worth the 195, but like, I, constructed, you got to play him with that cloak, I feel like. like. A 10 out of 10. I. Oh, dude. There's not to a take lot down that beats field. him at, two, at the 195 point line. Like, there just isn't. Especially since he, in this set, at 195 points, you probably have at least two, maybe three other characters that are supporting him. Like, maybe you have, like, a Ooh. Bob or something. Yeah. Um, it's hard to say. Next up is, uh, wow. It's Mobius and wow. Mobius. Detective, wow. future, past, police, PD, team ability, 30 points. He is a outstanding pull and sealed. He's got TK. Yeah. He's got ESD with a 16 defense, so he's like an average defense. There's enough defend in this set that, like, if you get Ravona, if you get Wanda, he's like well defended, like <laughs> yeah, quote unquote well defended because of defend. well defended. Yeah, uh, but yeah, then, then he's got leadership <laughs> once per turn for all characters with this effect. When a friendly character within range uses phasing teleport and uses moves four squares or less after resolutions they may make a close attack there's a lot of characters with phasing in the set like this mobius has used that trait more than once when i've played him but like more nice. importantly for 30 points a tk leadership uh with pd like he can just get anywhere with his pd with his phasing uh very important 
And uh, anytime you pull a super soldier serum, since it's kind of unlikely you pull anybody that can come equipped with it, it's really nice to have a TK so you can TK the super soldier serum to whoever you want sure. it equipped to. So when sure. I played him last, um, it was I pulled the the rare Loki, the old man Loki, and uh, oh. he was he was you know injecting himself up with that super soldier serum. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Nice. But no, Mobius is important for a lot of reasons, but mostly that PD, um, being able to hand out free attacks. That and you know we haven't gotten to it yet, but obviously um, the Tesseract gives phasing. So the one character in the set that gives free attacks to people that phase might be nice to play with anyone using the Tesseract as well. Probably a little, a little bit, a little yeah. bit. Um, speaking of people that can phase, uh, and actually just really Mobius, he can like technically give someone like a 10 square reach. You can like TK him up six. Mm-hmm. If they're still within they're still his within four, you know, then he can, they can move again another four and uh, yeah. whatever. Like that's really dope. I didn't think about that, but he is, he is just so good. Uh, and someone you mentioned, Ravona Renslayer with her 18 defend. Uh, sadly, she is an 18 defend probability control for 30 points, which is not sad. It's actually really, really good, but there is another defend piece of probability control in the uncommons that might be slightly better than Ravona. Yeah, slightly um, more points, but I mean, worth the, more points. the extra points. But for 30 points, Ravona's got the full dial of phasing, full dial of in cap. Uh, she also has police TA, which is really, full really nice uh, for wild card. Full dial prob, too. Uh, the special prob is nice, situational and sealed, but solid for when you build with her, of course. For the characters, the shared keyword within range and line of fire have safeguard opposing probability control. Very nice. Again, a lot of this range and line of fire stuff is limited to characters that have a four range. Uh, which can be a little tough, but the phasing can help get her into position a little bit, which is nice. A future past police politician, not the greatest keywords to help protect you uh, from uh, not no. very common I mean, keywords, so like, but... Uh, like Captain, yeah. the common Captain Carter has passed, and so like yeah, anytime some I decent. made attacks yeah. with her, uh, if I had this Ravona, I also had like safeguard opposing prob on those attacks, which was nice. Like, I can rob it, but you can't, you know, haha, ha na na boo boo um, you can't pry yeah. my attacks or whatever. Yeah, uh, totally. Um, and of course, with like Spider Man family, there's a very easy way to get her onto that. And now, oh, yeah, well, Spider Man, you know, like, I think constructed, she she really shines a lot oh, too. Miles, Miles um, West, exactly, exactly. You get it. Uh, and then you know, targets four range, two targets with in cap, very solid police TA. So I like Ravona a lot. She's cool. I didn't think she was going to get made in this set, honestly. Um, but I'm glad she's here. She is a fun dial for 30 points. Um, yeah. And she just, she puts in that work. She really does. And 18 Defend is really solid and sealed. Uh, and 18 Defend is kind of like the average Defend. Um, there's a lot of 17s, a lot of 16s, some stuff in the commons I mean, and uncommons. So it makes him a 20 for right, range. Straight up. He's got so. the 16 Defense. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's not nothing for sure because there's always going to be those characters sure, yeah. like Darcy Lewis, whatever. Like, oh, right. It's yeah. It's decent to have especially if you've got so like i pulled mobius two of this ravona renslayer um the old man loki and then there's another character with esd that i don't remember so i had like a front line of 20 it's defense good. from range and like having two probs for 30 points like only costing 30 points plus they have phasing so positioning them for pd yeah it takes like yep. actions to do but being able to drop i think it was the chase scarlet witch it's Chase Scarlet Witch and then the Uncommon Scarlet Witch that we're about to get to. Um, but being able to drop their defense by minus two because I had two of these was big. Uh, next up, another character that I'm keeping multiples of is Lucha Libre, good old Neighborhood Watch Vision. So this is the spooktacular. I love that they gave him the Avengers keyword. He's yeah, got it's Avengers funny. celebrity and robot. I like to think they gave him Avengers because he's part of the Neighborhood Watch. Um, oh no! It's, it's just such a fun. Yeah, he's like, he's like, we might not be able to prevent these, these eggings and toilet paperines, but we will Gosh. avenge them. And them? Oh goodness gracious! Uh, for forty-five. Okay, points, sure. Yeah, full dial of shape change. Thanks to the spectacular trait, can heal from it. Thanks to that trait, uh, he's got Mystic's team ability. He's got that stop click, where all it is is stop click. He's got close combat expert and exploit, which is a combo they really like doing in this set. He's got yeah. flight, which is pretty important with stealth. So he's a 12 for 3 with pen damage top dial. He's got invulnerability and a rollout. Um, 
mid dial he loses that exploit but keeps the close combat expert and gets a willpower roll and then of course he's got that stop click where he goes back to that special damage power and then you know the whole dial he's got shape change where he can potentially heal the easiest way to get rid of these characters is just out with that shape change so they can never heal but obviously if you lose your outwit it becomes a lot harder i really want to make a team while i while i still have like four extras i really want to make a team of just like a ton of this vision where i just drop them off right okay. next to somebody and I'm just like, deal with them, you know? Deal with it. What are you going to do? That's what yeah. I thought. You, you might be able to KO one in a turn, but you won't be able to KO all four of them. He's and 90 then, points. Know. Yeah. You <laughs> play, uh, you can play, what, six of these visions and then the common 30 point vision as a taxi? Yeah. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Celebrity. Yeah, drop them off. With 300, there's your 300 point vision team, Simeon. And then they're all like, carry the three of them. Of, the ship of and the other one can the, carry the ship each. Of, blah, 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 blah. I can't. What is Theseus? Yes, the ship, Theseus. The ship is. Well, I'm gonna feel bad. I'm gonna look bad in front like of the seven, of, seven of them, like saying like the same thing over and over again. Yeah, just voice lines on top of voice lines, copying each other. Yeah, it's fun. Discussion. <laughs> Great, it's so good. Uh, Wanda here, on the other hand, dang, is she a beast, dude? She's so good. Constructed, sealed, everything. I love this Wanda. 19 defend. That's the biggest thing about her. She obviously is the same thing. Halloween Spectacular. So she's got traded shape change and the whole heal one, which is dope. Uh, she's got the stop click all the way at the end of her dial. Click six, 45 point mystics, six range. Um, and this thing is so dope, though. Her special damage power. So she's got a full dial of prob. Much power for her first two and last click here. Uh, probability control when she uses it to reroll a friendly attack roll. If the attack hits after resolutions, remove an action token from the attacker. Oh, so many beautiful ways to remove action tokens from people. The 19 defend is paired so well it's with like ESD, nuts, yeah. combat reflexes. It's so dope. She herself is just hard to hit with the 19 shape change. And she's got prob to prob any attacks coming her way. And then on your turn, it's like, hey, you hit, good job, remove a token. I do this figure so awesome. Yeah. Uh, I've put her, I'll put her on a non theme team. It's like, she doesn't well, need like, to be on a theme when team. We were doing our, uh, yeah. our Disney Plus sealed like videos that we uploaded. Uh, there's one point where, I mean, she KO'd John Walker, right? Because you knocked her to that 11-3. Yeah. And True. yeah, yeah, that's a surprisingly powerful click. 11 for 3 is surprisingly good. Like, that's enough yes, to dude. KO most characters um, after like a few hits. But then on top of that, if you keep hitting her, she gets Mystics. If she hits that shape change enough, she keeps healing off her stop click. It's pretty hard to KO these 45-point figures if you don't have a couple outwits handy. Uh, and then even then, if you have a couple outwits handy, you need some some way to reduce that 19 defend because that's just a really high defense for a 45-point uncommon. Like, it is. No. I really Stupid. like the uh, the prob reroll if, it, if the attack hits after the reroll, like remove the action token. That's so so easy to pull off if you want to plan for it like if i'm rocking a like 14 attack because i you know like let's play i'm say i'm playing like silver and i'm playing like power gem on somebody yeah. and i'm just carrying her around and probbing their attacks and re-rolling it because i know i'm gonna hit either way like that's so good just never having an action token imagine like combining her like in a like a boss battle scenario having her behind like Galactus and just like always prob the like the the 14 or 15 attack that he has just always prob it so that you get that action removal next up yeah. it's a uh, little Tommy Maximoff running around stealing candy um not really stealing i guess he's trick or treating so he's also got the spooktacular he's got celebrity and speedster knows mystical for this little kid don't know where he mm. came from, but uh, he skipped the mystical part. Somehow not theory. mystical, even yeah. though he's definitely got mystics. Magic. <laughs> yeah, he's got mystics. Yeah. <laughs> also created from like magic. I don't know magic. Yeah. Uh, so he's got the spooktacular trait, which is, as we said, good. Uh, he's got precision strike. When Tommy Maximoff hits with a close attack, hit characters immediately drop any held objects or unequips or unequips any equipment. So. Um, whether it's like a light object, a heavy object, or if they have equipment equipped, 
if he hits them, they must drop it. Have you pulled this off yet? Because I have not. Uh, no. So, yeah. Uh, I only played him once in the sealed, and I only played him in the two out of my three sealed games, and it didn't, yeah, it didn't happen. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, precision strike means that he's always dealing one, which is cool. Um, yeah. Spooktacular and stop click means that he's got like more longevity to his dial. Full dial of that precision strike. I mean, I, th- I feel like all of them have a full dial of the thing they do. Um, yeah. But yeah, I I want to think that he could be good for like a TK out, like hypersonic, make somebody drop something. I think it's just too much investment into his 10 attack. Um, but he will be extremely fun casually. This is another character. I'm keeping two of all of those spooktacular characters, except Agnes. I only have one of that. So, But I am keeping two of okay. each of them because I feel like a double spooktacular knight might be like whatever the points work out to might work out for me. But no, the Halloween I, I night like is wild. I think Tommy might be he's like tied with vision for like third place out of the or fourth place out of like the spooktacular people because like vision doesn't have move and attack, but he's got solid values. Tommy has move and attack, but like lower attack, lower damage, double rollout top dial. So it's, it's just hard yeah. to like figure out which which one I like more, but yeah, I definitely put like Wanda towards the top, and uh, then once we get to the rare, we can talk about that one as well. Because like, it, yeah, Wanda's definitely towards the top either way, just because of the utility. One hundred percent. Let's talk about the little little kids. Tommy. Yeah, way worse kids. Little brat. We got Loki, Loffy, son. His guardian deity, future mystical past. Thirty points or thirty five for the test rack, I guess. Full dial of stealth and blades, and then a full dial of leadership and shape change on a special damage power, which also has unique modifier free. Choose a combat value other than damage until your next turn. Kid Loki has opposing characters and then range and line of fire. Modify the chosen value. This one. So probably, can, you know, defense if you're attacking or, you know, attack uh, if you're scared of them attacking you. Uh, he's bad, man. He's so bad. Uh, four like, clicks isn't great for like the thirty points. He just doesn't. Oh, he's just missing a lot of stuff. He's like the I, emotional modifier, but he has to have line of fire and range. So line of fire and range is rough. And again, it's the full range. All this range and line of fire stuff in this set is is yeah full range. Um, I don't. I don't believe he killed Thor. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> he probably kill a Thor. Like yeah, if he gets lucky with like some blades and stuff. But like telling me this kid killed Thor? I'm not buying it. Not party, they probably not, that's for sure. not part, definitely not party Thor. He can't even kill the laziest of Thors. Uh, I don't expect he killed like a better Thor. I will say uh, one Thor in his universe him. must have been dog crap. Like for he must have sucked. Points, for 30 points the one time I ran him um, I really liked that, that modifier he has. Um, sure. Full dial of shape change and then mid dial you probably don't see the mid dial, but like mid dial super senses where it'd be double rollouts and a higher attack value. Um, keeping him in stealth and like minusing attack means most of the time your opponent will have minus one attack when they attack him directly. But he is for 30 points, like after we just got out of a couple stop click, three stop click characters in a row uh, for 15 points more. Um, I'm not playing him with the Tesseract. If I play him, It'll be with like the rest of the Lokis, and yeah, that's a fun team. Yeah, you know, but yeah, but yeah, there's there's utility to be lost when uh, when he's killed. If it was just like a perplex that yeah could like target every character in range, or like you know minus one to like all opposing characters in range, or minus one to like all friendlies, the fact that you can use like positioning to get out of his line of fire. Or I mean, easily get out of his range if he's not in stealth. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, like there's a lot of things. He's like a decent support-ish, you know, guy. The only support he has is, of course, the leader in that thing, and he's just got like no moving attack. All is fine. Not you know a ton to the to the team. No. You know, it's not. It's rough. No. Yeah. Next up.
it's the big old hey. T'Challa Star Lord. You, so. you gotta talk about T'Challa Star Lord again. Yeah. So the common is only fifty points and leadership. This one brings way more flavor. Got two point lines. Either way, you're starting out with running shot, pulse wave, outwit, special defense that is ESD and super senses. I like that combo. Full dial of super senses, technically. Um, his last three clicks, he gets force blast, precision strike, range combat expert, and super senses. So he's eh, never goes below a 10, but the majority of his dials, he's an 11. Top dial, he's a 12 for four, but that's 100 points with no reducers, just that rollout. Technically a 20 defense yeah. from range. Yeah. Um, the big thing that he does is, like, I'll probably be playing him at 40 points. And he's got, let me introduce you to the family I made along the way. So this is a cool part of the episode. Obviously, if you're listening to any Disney Plus set reviews, you're going to hit some spoilers because, like, flavor text and stuff. So uh, the cool part of this episode, when he actually makes it back to Earth, so, like, he was taken away uh, in place of Peter Quill, raised by Yondu, yada yada, like knows the Ravagers, uh, created like the Guardians, all that kind of stuff. Kind of like Star Lord, but like slightly better because he's just better than in, than uh, Peter Quill is. Um, but then he makes it back to Wakanda and he, like introduces the Ravagers that like he met and the, hey. the Guardians to the Wakanda like people and stuff. So when establishing theme teams, characters on your starting force with the minions of Thanos. Ravagers or Wakanda keyword gain the Guardians of the Galaxy keyword. I don't know anything that like this like really breaks getting the Guardians so, of the Galaxy keyword. It's just unique, man. It's just cool. It's just like good. it's yeah. it's accurate, it's good, and it's like, huh. It's so different that it does I mean it does what he does in the show. It brings things together that you were just not expecting. And it's just it's cool. It's neat, man. I I really do just dig it for that reason. Yeah. Really sweet. And this is this is when start establishing theme teams. So um, yep. it is a form of keyword cheating. Like you can get many of the Thanos, is, yeah. Ravagers, Wakanda, all under the Guardians of the Galaxy keyword. Um, you can combine all of all four of those keywords now, which was not something that I thought would we would see in twenty twenty two. Did not yeah. <laughs> did not yeah. think minions of Thanos might be on the same team as Wakanda or uh, Guardians, but uh, you know, there you got it for forty points. Um I played him at 100 at one point. That 12 for 4 is intimidating, but, like, one damage, and he's he's suddenly, like, an 11 for 4. Or, no, he's an 11 for 3 yeah. instantly. And then, like, that's the rest of his dial. So I'll be playing him at the 40-point line. I'll be using him mostly for the keyword cheating kind of stuff. Um, man, the Wakanda keyword gives out so many bonuses that if it gave them that instead of Guardians, I could definitely see this doing, like, some really crazy stuff. I'll have yeah. to look through Guardians and see who's giving pluses to, like, what. But, like, I mean, even just moving yeah. forward, like, that's a keyword that, like, is always expanding. So maybe it gets better with age. Yeah. Um. Oh, boy, I get to talk about Monica Rambeau again. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. The first one uh, was lame, and the second one is... <laughs> Just as, if not more lame, uh, which is very accurate to her character in the show because she, she was like boring. This as much. Yeah. It's bad. Uh, so she's got a full dial of phasing. Uh, she does have shield TA. Uh, she's 45 points. Uh, she got a special attack power her entire dial with the 10 attack. Um, unique modifier. When an opposing character makes a ranged attack targeting one or more adjacent from the characters, Modify their attack minus one. Now, if she had this with like an 18 defend or a 19 defend instead of just an 18 with ESD, then she's way better. You know, if she had the stop click from the last one, then I'd be like, wow, this is a dope Monica for 45 points. She doesn't have any of that. Um, she's got no movement attack. She has like 10 for threes, kind of average ish stuff. But for 45 points, this is a lot of things, Chief, but this ain't it. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm not playing her. I'm just not playing her. In Sealed, this is just probably the one figure in the set where I'm just like, ah, oh, man. Oh. That's definitely just not No. Uh, yeah. I'm looking I'm looking at uh, Click Nikki here. Um, and on her last yeah. click, she's, she's showing a 7 defense. But it's definitely oh no, nah, definitely a seventeen. It's definitely definitely 17. a seventeen. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, she's not that bad. She's not that bad. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's still right. in the double digits on defense. Everybody uh, makes mistakes. Everybody has those bad. days. Okay. So, uh, 
I I personally like the other Monica better. I think they both have like utility to be played. Um, I will say like in silver kind of stuff, if I'm paying 45 points, I'm probably going to play pay 50 for like Harry Leland. Um, celebrity is not a big enough keyword for me quite yet where I'm like just using her for like that minus one attack. I think for 45 points, you could have made that a minus two. Like, I don't think that would have been out of like the, like, you know, no one would have been like, oh, that breaks the game. A minus two. Like Harry Leland does minus two for 50 points. Granted, he's a chase, but Calder really likes that figure. Uh, yeah, fudgy, dude. Can't place within four. I hate it so much, dude. I hate yeah. him. I hate Harry. I can't stand the guy. He's, yeah. Ugh. He's interesting. I don't even play him. I've never After read month, about him in the comics. Play against never, him ever again. Yeah. I've never once read about him in the comics. Like, yeah. My only experience to him is through like Hellfire episodes of. Like, yeah, the animated, animated show. I mean, that's what he's based on. Yeah. So accurate, I guess. Next up, Tyler Hayward. Loser. He does one thing. So he, he does have five range. Two targets. He's got shield team ability for 20 points. That's probably enough with stealth. Um, he's got mastermind that goes into willpower. I'm never masterminding my 20 points. Like, I will mastermind oh. to my 20 point figure, but like, who am I KOing? Unless it's a bystander, who am I KOing that Tyler Hayward isn't worth KOing instead? Uh, so he's got politician sword keyword. He has one thing that goes on its whole dial, and that is leadership. When Tyler Hayward uses it and succeeds, this turn he has power. Move an adjacent friendly character up to half its speed value. If that character has the sword keyword, after resolutions, it may make a close attack. So, as a power action, if you hit leadership, so it's several caveats. First, you have to use leadership. You have to succeed leadership. So, that's normally a 5-6 so if you hit that 5-6, yeah. that normal 5-6, um, then you have power, so you have to give him a power action, and then you can move an adjacent friendly character up to half their speed value. That's really good. Like, there's several characters that that's just, like, I would say, like, borderline game-breaking. Like, you know, we had problems with, uh, what's his name <laughs> from AV AVAS? Um, Justin Seaford. Uh, we had problems with like characters like that where they could like move characters and then like make attacks and stuff to yeah. anybody. So that's almost problematic. The fact that it's a power action and has to work with leadership makes it like very, very hard to plan on. But then uh, if Sword gets really good, which I kind of doubt, but if Sword gets really good after resolutions that can make a close attack, being able to move half your speed value, make a close attack, and then do some sort of power action, like let's say like yeah. I don't know if I could keyword cheat and give all caps doom like three like six arm doom. Um, if I could give him the sword keyword, move him up to half his speed value, uh, make a close attack, and then power action make three close attacks. That'd be nuts. Uh, you know. Yeah. yeah. I don't think anything like that's gonna happen. But this guy is cool for twenty points um, for leadership. If you're playing a politician or if you're playing a politician team. You've already got leadership. Like, that's pretty much what they do. Uh, necessary for every sword team. Yeah. Which I don't I don't even know how many sword teams are going to be out there, but yeah. A lot more nowadays than ever before. I mean, yeah, he he partners perfectly with the super rare prime vision, the vision. Yep. That's his purpose. And I think that's exactly what he was, like, designed for. But, um, so yeah, in that aspect, good flavor, because that makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense. Um, Dude, next up here, Sockman. Sock right again, but this time he's got sock on his face. Sock. Baron Zemo, massive evil TA. That's pretty cool. Uh, six range, two targets. Oh baby, sixty points, points per click. Six clicks of life. Full dial of precision strike. Top three click stealth. Back three elasticity. Top three uh, mastermind, which is nice. Back three super senses, which is all right. Full dial of two damage. Precision strike means that's okay. But uh, this is what really sucks. He's also a full dial. And that means sucks, but I mean it's good. Uh, he's outwit and perplex his entire dial. Um, he's a very interesting supporty slash attacky dude for 60 points, but it's not just outwit and perplex. When Baron Zemo uses either a target and opposing character, after resolutions, roll a d6. On a 5 or 6, deal 1 penetrating damage to an opposing character that is adjacent to the targeted character. So it's not an auto ping somebody uh, like a rock of raccoon perplex. 
But this still sucks because he's got two chances to do it each turn. And if there's two people adjacent, he does one or does the other, potentially gets them both. Uh, it's really gnarly. Uh, Simeon played this. Already outwitting something and perplexing something down. It, yeah, it so already I mean, sucks. Already getting two negative effects, possibly taking, like, penetrating damage. Really? Yeah. Taking you while you're down. It's like, ah, I'm Quite going literally. to out with your defense that's on your click two, you big dummy. Uh, and then, <laughs> ah, do you damage or something, you know, or if it's also on click one, whatever. Uh, or like perplex down your defense. Everybody's going to hit you. But now, ping, it's going to be a little easier. You're going to die a little faster. Uh, massive evil, dope, ruler, soldier, assassin, same keywords, all, all good. Uh, 17 defense is fine because he's got mastermind. It's fine. He's health, so hopefully protected outwit for the most part. Be able to mastermind to some people. The six range, two targets means if you get him positioned right, he can take some shots, do some outwits. Precision no, strike not the dial. easiest thing. Yeah, yeah, precision strike full dial is really solid. The 11 attack top yeah, dial is really solid. Cool. So, with how damaging goes, you'll probably land on those 10 clicks, but maybe not. Kind of depends on the game. Mastermind kind of lets you decide where you want to land in your dial, which is really nice. Um, if you're comfortable enough with being blown all the way to click five after taking a hit to just stay on an 11 attack go for it um probably his mastermind but no nah, he's really solid uh first time i was like looking at this dial i was like man 60 points this is kind of a lot but he puts in that work with that outwit and perplex man i still think uh, honestly even though he has terrorized me two games in a row as far as constructed goes i could say he could he could have been 50 points yeah. You no, know, honestly, he could have yeah. been ten points less, and I still would have been fine with it. He's it's a lot for I would say like stats, but his ability is strong though. That five and six pops up more than you guys think. Trust me. I played two games yeah. against him and it was rough. I would say Very rough. Um if he was fifty points or if it was a fifty fifty roll and he was sixty points with like an eighteen top dial, or like eighteen defense across the board. Um Yeah. I could, I could get behind that a little bit more, but yeah, how much damage did this guy put against you? I have six clicks of life in in your game. Yeah, grids of blood were just one eaten bad. I was getting real lucky with him, and three games, yeah. this guy without making like not counting the attacks that he also made, just it's so like this was how I took a an uncommon Wanda off of her defense clicks was Oof, like, targeting yeah. the people next to her. Like, three or four turns later, she's down to, like, super senses. I never had to, like, make her roll, like, shape change or anything. You know, I'm just, I just constantly, like, outwit the people next to her, perplex them down, and then, like, deal her damage and eventually got them to stop click just with this guy. Um, I think over yeah. the three games, he probably dealt close to, like, eight damage with just that one trait, which isn't, like, crazy or anything, but it is pen damage in a set without a ton of reducers for pen damage. Like it's a good investment. I kept, I yeah. kept one, but I could see myself playing two just to be like cheeky and be like double outwit, double perplex. This guy takes four pen damage, you know, Please. something like that. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, oh boy. Look who it is. Called her. I haven't Too talked about her enough. I haven't. You really haven't. It's kind of, it's uncanny, almost. Canny. Uh, Miss Minutes. It's the quick and dirty version yeah, of Miss, Miss Minutes, Minutes here. Really fun little character. Uh, obviously, like the little cartoon TVA mascot. Um, speed power is she can be placed within line of, range and line of fire. Or no, it's not range and line oh. of fire. It's just within range, which is six, next to uh, blocking train. So adjacent to blocking. For free, you can place her basically six squares as long as it's adjacent to blocking terrain um she has a stop click with regen super senses she's got a 12 attack the whole dial with in cap and two targets six range she has six speed her whole dial but again that's with that free placement she has a full dial of prob a full dial of super senses her stop click being super senses regen and then she gets a <sighs> she's got a trait she's a mission point character you target an opposing character. You then, after targeting that opposing character, you check the whole board, friendly, opposing, everything in between. Uh, you get one mission point for each other, so not including the original target, each other character on the map with the same name as the chosen character. Uh, so are they playing 
uh, like the the Fates or the Lokis that give plus one action total, uh, the Smith's Minutes is going to like win you a game in like four or five turns. Uh, she gets a mission point for each other character with that same name. Um, obviously, there's some like bystander kind of like shenanigans you can do where you give your opponent like bystanders that you have real names on the board with. Uh, there's a lot of like a lot of like intricate things you could potentially have. Is she reliable mission points wise? No, because there's teams that are like four characters and they're all four different, so you'll never get a mission point from that team. But she has so much utility for 35 points that like it, her mission points doesn't even like matter if it ever pulls off. She's got future, past, and robot. I'm playing her on robot teams. Uh, the double target in cap with like free placement is huge. Tiny size with an 18 defense. Her whole dial is yeah. so hard to hit. Plus her own prob. She's just annoying. She's like so. She's so annoying to play against that I feel bad that I've played her like the last four or five like games that I've been in. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing it though. I'm just gonna keep. Oh, she's doing dope. It. Oh, yeah. She is still so good though, dude. Uh, Party Thor. I, it, to me, it's still weird that she got into the set. If I'm being honest, I was like, oh, I guess sure. it is. But, uh, but I will say, yeah. like, she's the best. Happy TVA she's character. here. I'm happy all, she's all the, here. All the TV characters is. we got, she's probably the best for the points. Yeah. Uh, next up is Party Thor. Dude, I love this guy. Uh, how much he costs? He's perfect modern day like pulse wave piece. Strength shot, twelve attack, two damage. Doesn't matter. He's got pulse wave. And when he uses it after resolutions, you give all hit characters an action token. Uh, you need a timeout because you're a party pooper. I love it so much. He's got invincible. Top dial, first first two clicks, the running shot, shape change, pulse wave, everything. Then the bottom three clicks are his charge, quake, uh, invulnerability with close combat expert. So he's an 11 for four or an 11 for five on that last click, like for dude, 50 points. Party Thor is nuts. Uh, not even to mention he has willpower, but succeeds on a four through six. And when he uses it and succeeds, you may heal him one click. He's just, dude, he can keep on partying all night long. If you give, give him, him little, Super uh, Soldier Serum, dude, and then he's plus serum. on a three or more. Yeah. Like, willpower only fails on a one or two. Oh, he's yeah, the party king. And he heals. Yeah. Heals every time he does yeah. it. Like, And that's balanced by him only having six clicks of life, thank goodness. But still, you know, with Invincible, you know, sure, he's not protected out wit, but like, not really going to be one shot, maybe a few, like two tapped or something. If they really focus this guy, if they will, dude, party Thor as guardian Avengers, we shouldn't have Avengers technically, uh, but celebrity deity, like awesome. Another nope. I, I really like him. I'm keeping He's just fun, this dude. Guy because yeah, man, absolutely. Do it, man. Running it's around dope. pulse waving, actioning everybody up. Like yep. sure. They're only dealing one damage at a time. Once the first one gets hit down to its charge, like close combat expert clicks then i'm actually like bringing the pain and then he's like healing yeah. back up to pulse wave him again so it's like oh like i'm gonna hit you for four this turn but then i'm gonna hit my willpower and heal back up to pulse wave so like you have that to look forward to um speaking of super soldier serum now party thors he's one of my favorite rares that they did yeah. uh, speaking of super soldier serum one of the two characters that come with it the sharon carter 031a the non-prime she True. does one interesting thing and that's basically it so she she does have a special attack or special damage power that's modify range plus three gives her a seven range on her first two clicks range combat expert gives her a 12 for three and then an 11 for three um not you're not paying that for 35 points that's not what you care about uh what you care about is her trait that is dealing in contraband once per game for all characters with this trait at the beginning of the game you may choose an equipment equipped to an opposing character if you do that equipment gains unequipped drop is immediately unequipped and roll a d6 that opponent places the equipment up to that many squares away from its current square mm. there's not a lot of characters that are played that come pre-equipped like we're no longer in the age of astronomer and gardener um, Doom True. is like one of the ones that comes pre-equipped, um, like high Evo, Evo Prime, whatever. Those both, I think, usually get played equipped. Um, no, not really. I don't think they ever get played with their equipment, if I'm being honest with you. I've the, never no, the, played them with the it. The animal one has to play with it, because that's what gives him pretty does nice, he? right? Oh, then yeah, sure. Then I think I, so. he has to. So yeah, the I other one's the isotope A, and that one... 
ever. No, I don't think it's ever played. been used. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just just high Evo Prime. Like, there's not a lot of characters that get played pre-equipped. If this was, um, yeah, at the beginning of your turn, like obviously that like that would be way too good if it was at the beginning of your turn because then it would just destroy all equipment all the time, always. Like it wouldn't be worth playing. Right. But if it was um, free once per game. Like, for example, free once per game for all characters right. in this trait, uh, instead of at the beginning of the game, it would be so much better. Like, you wait yeah. till your opponent equips their stuff, and then you're just like, eh, you drop it, and it goes mm-hmm. like this. Four squares, so. you roll it away, four squares away. Uh, she will probably not see a ton of play because until, I mean, maybe once X of Swords hits, you know, if you can start a ton of characters with swords that are just way too good. Um, casually she's good like against the elders of the universe yeah she's great but like i just don't see her being played next character yeah. i actually plan on playing with like a lot a bit. Yeah, i like power broker even though i don't think sharon carter's the real power broker because that's just wrong yeah, in I so many don't. reasons I, yeah that's, that's hate a it so much problem that i have i just don't yeah i don't like it wow. <laughs> but uh the wow. figure though 25 points full dial of stealth full dial of mastermind willpower uh, top dial shape change goes on to some exploit, goes on to some poison later. But this is what you're really playing her for is secretly manufacturing super soldier serum. Our broker may start the game with the super soldier serum equipped. Power give an adjacent friendly character an injection token. When power broker uses willpower and succeeds, you may also remove an action token from each friendly character that has an injection token. So now she's got 50 50 willpower. Friendly and she gives everybody else with an ejection token. 50 50 willpower that means that's incredible and it's not even like a remove the token after you do it no it's like it's this mass world leadership that's better than leadership it's insane if she hits her willpower every turn and you inject five characters like obviously you're not taxiing around you're not you're not doing that like like for just for giggles let's say we inject five characters and then she hits her leadership every other turn that means five characters on your team, insane. like map wide, wherever they go, whatever they're doing, they're just removing tokens because she did. And it's really good. Like, I think this is like one of those sleeper primes where like, she's not, she's not like offensively great. She's not defensively great. She's not like any of those weird, but like she has this one weird niche that is just unactioning multiple like big hitters on a team. Uh, like it doesn't matter like who it is like you know if they don't have willpower themselves if you don't have a good leadership whatever um yeah just keeping characters cleared she's probably like the best at it in modern like i don't know a 50 50 that i could potentially have two or three like maybe even four like obviously you could like power action her give someone an injection token carry her up but like you don't really want her up in the fire so I don't know. What do you see yourself playing her with? Oh, so she has soldier. Yeah, yeah, soldier. I mean, it's gonna be a lot of soldier stuff. Ironically, you can't really play her with anyone that actually is already a super soldier. Um, but technically, I would I'd probably play her with like a full like Captain America oh, team. Yeah, you can't It'd be play really, really fun. X. That sucks. Play her like Josiah X sucks. Dang. Uh, you can't play her with like any of the new U.S. agents. Uh, which is a bummer. Or just the one U.S. agent, I guess. But he already has willpower and stuff. You don't need that. I'd probably play with, with a Captain America. It'd probably be a pretty heavy Captain America team. I would probably do, like, Avengers swap Captain America. Maybe make her an Avenger with uh, Rogers. And play her with, like, just on an Avengers team. Got a lot of tokens. That'd be pretty solid. Uh, yeah, just, like, anything that doesn't have willpower is so good. Like, yeah, that that uh, 11-click long Captain America or Crusader give them both like 50 50 willpower tokens that'd be really dope uh anybody that has like charge flurry you know if you can like scummer onto a a sky yeah. tyrant team or something would be really really good uh spy i don't know dude i don't play any spy like whatsoever but like I mean, on yeah, theme sharon carter's awesome non-theme i'd actually you play her more non-theme be on theme. theme yeah i think so better non-theme you can this is uh, like it's figures like Gross. this that make me think in cap needs to be changed because no matter how much Miss Miss yeah. caps you and gives you action tokens, no matter how much party it's... Thor gives you action tokens, yeah. you've got a character like this that like has a 50, 50 map wide, just like 
Just kidding. Care. His actions are gone. Yeah. Like, you know. Get about it, loser. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. Um, no, yeah. I, it's raw. I the first time I looked at her, I didn't like read too deep into it. I'd play her on like ruler. Uh, I think there's enough like cool ruler stuff, especially like the Ultron that can power action make drones. Um, being able to like just remove action tokens from him like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, whenever. Yeah. Uh, that'd be like really solid. And yeah, for 25 points, like obviously you can't play Ultron Pym with her. That's that's like the one sore spot is I never want to waste my prime slot on like the 25 point like weird oh. little support oh. piece. But yeah. It's so good. She's. I do want to play her on a team like a bunch of a bunch of people and just who cares dude like yeah. it can be anything like i know i'm being really vague and not really know where i'm going with this but like once you start actually team building with it it's like it can be literally anything it would be well, nuts it's just, yeah it's so good. Is awesome like, yeah and i hate to be like like be like oh just play a turtle team but like quite literally if your team is like barrier turtle she just gives action to like she gives or not action she just gives injection tokens every turn like Pretty much, you know, she's got a fifty. I wouldn't do that because I'm not a scumbag. Um, but if you want to do that, Simeon, I won't stop you. I'm not uh, saying I, I play like that, but I'm saying, like, yeah, I'm uh, sure. Already is like sure that, you and you're sure not. You no, nah, totally sure yeah. you don't, Simeon. I mean, why not? Uh, characters that already have like cosmic energy dude. or willpower, uh, this it's, she makes it better. Stacks. 50 50. Like, they get their yeah. own willpower roll, and then that's she so gets true. Oh. You know what? Forget what I said about parent people have will. Heck yeah, give them people willpower. Player with, with yeah. like John Walker, Captain America. Player with like whoever. Yeah, oh, that's gross. Player with Party Thor. Oh my gosh, dude! Yeah, you you'll never, you'll Thor, never get an action token. Player, you get two chances at clearing Party Thor. Yeah. You play what? Uh, you can play five Party Thors, Power Broker, and then something else. And yeah. you've got. Yeah, dude. You know, you just sit there and inject the, all the. <laughs> He's a party. He throws like, no, I love science. Yeah, science is awesome. What is it? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, it's a serum. Okay, I thought it was like some fun stuff for my party, but I'll take it anyway. Uh, I'll take it too. Uh, Partying forever. That's a good team. Love it. Someone who took too much of something. Uh, We got zombie. You know what? We we lied, Calder. We said there was no Steve Rogers in the set. This is the non-skinny Steve. This is the non-skinny Steve Rogers in America. Technically, Steve Rogers uh, is the yeah. monster and soldier. He is a little slow boy with eight speed charge. Yeah. Gives him a four movement charge. Goes down to a six. I don't know. Last time I saw a six speed charge, but like no. it's probably in the rest in peace. Like them, they really like to slow down the zombies. To be fair, like his one ankle looks broken, so it's the one with the boot though. That's the surprising thing. That's no, that is funny. No support like, in that boot. What happened yeah. to his other shoe? Normally, like. If you lose your shoe in some sort of accident, like that would be the damage foot. But uh, so oh. full dial steel like, energy thanks case. to his trait. Full dial willpower thanks to his trait. When zo- uh, zombie Captain America hits with a close stack, give him a food token. Uh oh, zombie food tokens. You say Ooh. free. Remove a food token to modify zombie Captain America's combat values plus one until your next turn. Uh, giving him a plus one means that his four speed charge is now a five speed charge. Uh, his nice. twelve or his eleven attacks now a twelve attack for four. His uh, defense is an eighteen instead of a seventeen. Uh, he does have ESD, and then he's got toughness for his first four clicks. His last three clicks are regen with close combat expert. Uh, that's when I'd be cashing in food tokens and using my oh, for sure, dude. Yeah. Get twelve for four. That'd be dope. Oh yeah, yeah. Again. And then. Uh, you can get the plus five point trait that is a zombie with a plan that just gives him the Captain America shield. So he, even though he's got ESD for his first four clicks, you can have a 20 from range with that plus five, which isn't a bad option. Like, I really like the shield. I think it's a cheap enough object to like give to most of the characters that it comes with. Um, no, like this is a character I, I think I kept... I think I kept five. I kept four or five. Jeez. All five of this guy? 
I pulled a fun zombie swarm team. I know. I pulled a lot. I, I definitely want to make it's mostly a zombie swarm with it's him. It's just such a fun sculpt, and it yeah it is the like the slow <laughs> shambling like terror that is me gathering food tokens, you trying to KO one, another one like coming up, taking his place, <laughs> like you know probably um, one of the coolest sculpts in the set. Oh, the, with the what if stylization, with the bright colors, with the just being so unique. So he's like probably the, one of the, the fact that they didn't go for like the normal like gray zombie flesh and they went like yeah. with this Green. light blue like yeah, yeah. Like turquoise almost yeah it's somehow worse like it's almost like i don't off putting it's somehow like yeah, in its, it's own weird way yeah because like normal zombie you're like oh like rotting flesh whatever but like this is yeah. like oh what happened <laughs> like, what's going on here what kind of weird know, like I, I really liked the zombies from like the what if series. Obviously, zombies are just they're fun. Like they just always are. But the yeah. what if zombies specifically like kept some sense of like who they were. Like so, like they weren't quite Marvel zombies level of like keeping who they were. Oh. But uh... they knew how to like throw the shield. Yeah. They knew how to like use Iron Man armor. They weren't just like zombies. Right. And idiots. Right. The, uh, they the, didn't uh, the Scarlet like... Witch knew how to, like, use magic and stuff still. That was terrifying, yeah. Yeah. I've... And then, yeah, I, I won't get into WandaVision, but, like, good. I yeah. feel like that Dude. character made an appearance. I feel like it did. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, that zombie cap, he's fun. Like I said, I'm holding on to, I think, four or five, just because that zombie swarm team um, playing with, yeah. like, what, Dr. Frankenstein do some like fun shenanigan stuff it's gonna be fun you play like him with like the zombie from the starter and then if you have like colonel america i'll bet i'll definitely play like a, a colonel america zombie from the starter this zombie captain america and then any other extra zombie caps i get for an all star spangled zombie squad cool there you go. yeah next up is billy hey billy how's it going i'm billy i don't know something fun about the name billy billy maximoff here uh He's a he's a different version of I would say he's better than his brother, but he's not the greatest spectacular in my opinion. But he's spectacular, so shape change. Then if he speeds, he heals a click, a stop click on click six. He's got first three clicks phasing, last three stealth because some ESD. What's his thing that he's got all dial? Uh, perplex. And when he uses it to target a friendly character, uh, he doesn't have this all dial. He has perplex all dial, but he has the special one for his first two clicks and then on his last click. Uh, when you use it to target a friendly character, until your next turn, opposing effects can't be used on that character to re-roll or replace dice in their attack rolls. That's really, really cool. I like it a lot. So you perplex up their attack value, to maybe like a 12 or something, you know, Some 10 to an 11. Yeah. No, and then you can go all the way wherever, and they can no longer, an opposing character cannot mess with their rolls, and that's really, really good. Yeah, especially uh, if you're playing doing, against, like, on theme. Like if I, yeah, like if you're doing mystical theme, I perplex up. I don't know some mystical character. TK him out, move all the way over there, attack, and I have my theme team probs, and you don't get to reroll or replace yeah. dice. Amount of that times means, I've had to I like almost guaranteed to hit you, like almost yeah. guaranteed. Uh, but like when I've sent out like Sky Tyrant or something to go in there and then he just gets probed a million times or like Animal with all the probs Animal has nowadays. Yeah. It's just so nice. It's so nice, dude. Yeah. Real celebrity. Good such good probs. keywords. Yeah. It's it's really dope. And again, poor Avona Renslayer is being showed up in almost every way by these like poor right. Halloween yeah. spectacular right. figures. It does yeah. like it's it does what she does so much better. It's not only a good up in range. It's a purpose yeah. that gives you like boosted stuff kind of like similar to oh. like the scott porter bystander but like right like in a more consistent way because like prob is like five that definitely happens more often oh. um also a 10 speed phasing taxi i mean also solid have cool. flight yeah uh right. let's see i kept like two of those billies like i said i kept two of almost every of the uh, spectacular, the, yeah, the spooktacular. But I mostly want to keep all the billies because the little, little Halloween baskets. Next up is the unique. Let's see, how many uniques have we had? Miss Minutes was the first unique, so they're just yeah. in the rare so far. So the second unique in this whole set, and that is Heist Nebula, and we'll see why she's unique. Just kidding, we probably won't. Uh, she has 
a special speed power, first three clicks and her last click. That is Hey Cha Cha, which is, of course, what she calls T'Challa. Put some respect to his name, Nebula. Yeah, I know. Jeez. He doesn't call her like Nebubu. Like, uh, uh, hey, what's up, Neb Neb? Hey, what's up, Bula Bula? Like, Bula Bula. The disrespect. It's unbelievable. All right, she's got charge, plasticity, and stealth. It's called Hey Cha Cha. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, she's got a trait. She's a mission point character. I'm going to get all of them, I think. Um, when Heist Nebula hits after resolutions, unequip each hit opposing character. If the character wasn't equipped, generate a loot light object adjacent to the hit character instead. Free, remove an unheld loot light object in your starting area from the game. If you do, gain three mission points. Free, remove an unequipped opposing equipment in your starting area from the game. If you do, gain six mission points. These are some big old mission points, but this would take a huge amount of setup. You would need like a chain of yeah. 2K. You would need... Yeah. Like, she's got her own perplex, so I don't think she's going to have a problem actually hitting the equipped characters. But like, man, if you could actually pull off a a heist nebula, like a heist... You pull off the like the loot grab. It's super cool. It's super thematic. Um, obviously, they don't really do like a big heist. They try and they kind of fail, but like it is still really thematic, really cool. If you can pull this off, just from like the unheld loot light objects, like let's say you That'd have cool. somebody that's got like sidestep, picking them up, carrying them back to the starting area with her, maybe like I don't know. If you have like a couple people pick up these objects, drop them in the starting area, and then you just have Nebula, like, power action move, free, remove it. Like, you just... It's one of, like, the quickest uh, potential uh, mission point victories, uh, like, outside of Ultron Infinity. It just hinges on being able to hit and then also get back to your starting area. Normally, you don't want to be to your starting area. Uh, If your, like, opponent's already engaging you, that means they've got, like, an alpha strike, and that's where they want to be. And if your opponent's not engaging you, that means you have to cross the map and then come back and cross the map and then come back. It's just um, so it's cool a, and thematic it for is. her, though. Like, for a heist, like, that's a heist. You you, do, you got the loot, you got the treasure, whatever. You brought it back yeah. to your starting area. That's when, like, you heist. So, like, it's a really cool, like, me thing. I remember her, like, punching a whole bunch. So, like, the charge is a little, little strange to me. But, like, stealth plasticity is yeah. dope. I mean, she's the still a decent attacker. For, like, the breakaway. 5 sure. points. Oh, true yeah than it is for like, like holding an enemy there but yeah. yeah still a solid solid 65 points though even if you just use like the objects for just like an extra damage like don't yeah. even worry about the mission point thing you just like use them for like light objects that's if still dope just use her trait to generate oh. light objects yeah. i mean there's several characters that can work with that one of them being one of her keywords robot um right. assassin guardians of the galaxy oh, true Maybe very true Thanos, pirate robot uh yeah she, i mean for 65 points she is only four range one lightning bolt but she's charged her whole dial so no big complaints from me on that yeah. uh next up loki here old man loki and he started the imp test right for an extra five points he's 75 that'd make him 80 seven clicks of life uh so pretty deep dial for what we've seen so far mystics in range two targets he's a dope sealed pick with running shot pen blast esd and then outwit top dial for seven range two targets really really nice guardian future mystic and past full dial of pen blast gives on a person some perplex later once he loses that weight goes on some stealth later gives on some barrier later it's pretty cool his big trait here is i cast projection of myself so real even the mad titan believed it uh shape change if loki would be the first friendly character to be KO'd this game. You may instead replace him with another character named Loki from your sideline that is equal or less points than Loki on its starting click, so less than 75. Uh, sideline active, though, once per game, if another character named Loki is on its is the last friendly character on your force while this Loki is on your sideline, when that character would be KO'd, you may instead replace it with this Loki on click one. Really, really cool. Uh, so if you ever play a Loki, have this guy on your sideline. And of course, if you're playing this guy, have any Loki that's 75 or less on your sideline, which is really, really cool. His special defense power at the end. He's actually going to be kind of hard to be the first person to KO, however, because he does have not only a long dial, uh, he has a stop click at the end of it. Um, but of course, no reducers. And 17 defense isn't amazing. No stealth. So uh, 
if he's charged up there, he might he might die first. Um, Gloria's purpose is to stop click all the way at the end. It's stop Gloria's barrier. Purpose. Uh, when this click is first revealed, after resolutions, you may place Loki up to four squares away from his current square and then generate up to four blocking terrain markers within range. At the beginning of your turn, remove those markers, even if this power is lost. So, again, we just going to make a wall around him if you don't want him to die. Uh, if it's like a... Uh, would you say it? if he's not going to be the first person to die, I'll probably just want to get another yeah. turn with him because then he he's does have stealth. He is a 12 for three. On that click. Yeah, yeah, really Some good. 12 for three pen blast with perplex. Perplex down that person's defense. Perplex up your attack to a 13. Three poof, pen blast shoot somebody. So solid Loki. I wish I would have pulled him in sealed. Maybe I still have a chance to pull him in a sealed eventually, but I, I'll probably build around this Loki. This is like the first Loki in the set that I'm like. He's cool. I really like him. He's cool. He was neat in the TV show. Um, but I do want to play this version. It's really yeah. fun. Really fun. I. What is it? What's the thing's name that he fights? Not Aleph. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> Smoke monster creature. Smoke monster. I feel bad. Yeah. I feel like we've asked like twice now on the yeah. show or like I, three I times. Where it's like, it's what's like his name? Eliath. Eliath. It's Eliath. Yeah, yep. Like, it's Eliath. Like Eliath. You got it. it. It's a, uh, you know alligator smoke monster or something um yeah. no i will say if you sideline this loki while you play like i don't know every other loki in this set plus like the rise and fall plus the war of the realms loki's um you just make a full team of loki's first yeah. that's fun that's a ton of probs a ton of actions cool. a ton of crazy like shape change whatever and then once you get down to your very last Loki and your opponent finally thinks they beat you and they KO it, then you say, uh-uh, that character's not KO'd. Instead, I have a click one. At the end of the game, click one, 75 point, 11 for three, psychic blast, running shot, seven range, outwit, mystics. Like, man, like this, uh, he seems like a slap in the face when you... uh when you eventually put them on the board, if you play like that, which is exactly what I'm about to do. Um, I don't know what build it's going to be for, but I'm going to play the fire hydrant, like hipster Loki, like, hey, I'm on my way to Starbucks, oh, Loki. Uh, yeah. Plus the, uh, what is it, War of the Realms, plus one action total, action total Lokis. Uh, and then I'll play um, pretty much everything but Sylvie, because her name's not Loki. So, yeah. I'll just I'll just make it like impossible for him not to come in. That's my goal. Like no matter which one you KO last, it will be named Loki. Speaking of the character that you can't call in last, it's Sylvie. I actually really like this character. I've played her in sealed twice in two different like sealed events. Um well, we're considering the unboxing that me and Calder did a sealed event. Sixty points. I mean, why not? Yeah. I mean essentially yeah. But sealed. You're one of the better players that there is in uh, Sioux Falls. I mean, thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, there, I mean, outside of like Tristan, Jonah, Kevin, Isaac. Okay, stop, stop. I, uh, Lucas. Stop. All right, stop. Uh, stop. Ian. Uh, I don't know any no <laughs> any other names. Uh, anyhow, Sylvie, sixty points, Mystics. She has a special speed power for four clicks. It is mind control, and then if she uses it after resolutions, uh, she may use mind control as free, but only to target a character adjacent to a previous target that she hasn't targeted with mind control this turn, regardless of range, line of fire, or adjacency. Um, I didn't read this correctly when I first played it, but like if you t originally target a cluster of people and you miss the original target, you still get the after resolutions. She can use it as free, but only to target a character adjacent to a previous target. So as long as they don't hit shape change, you always get that second target if they're grouped up already. Um, if you target somebody and then move them, that's like obviously like the the better option is like moving somebody to a group of people, hitting one of them, and then mind controlling the other one or whatever. It's just it's like a wind guard light. It's like a, I mean, like several characters. Yeah, have been able to win, win light. Yeah, she's obviously like less points, but like it's way less effective as far as like chain mind control. It's way better balanced. Um, then she has a trait. Yeah, you thought like uh, Loki who could outwit the Mad Titan 
with his shape change was right. good, but no, no, it's it's Sylvie who has a shape change on a four through six plus stealth, and then when she uses shape change and succeeds, she can't be targeted by opposing effects until your next turn. That means no opposing character can target her with outwit, with per- perplex, with an attack, with I- anything. Uh, it's not protected pulse wave, so I guess there's that. But outside of that, like any opposing effect that could target, if they don't get rid of her shape change first, and she's actually in stealth, um, yeah, it just becomes real rough when she hits that like 50-50. Uh, this is almost worse than the spooktacular like, healing one because it just truly, like, if she's the last character on your team and she hits that shape change, it just shuts down their team for a turn. But, no, uh, outside of that, she's got Pulse Wave for four clicks, Super Senses, so she double roll out for four clicks, Outwit with three damage for four clicks. And then her last yeah. two clicks, she becomes a Charge Blades Exploit with Combat Reflexes figure. Uh, also very good combination with stealth and shape change. But no, I, I just like this character on like the base. Um, another character I'm never probably using with the Tesseract. She's probably one of the better options for it though, because she doesn't have like any move and attack. Like the previous Loki has running shot. I'd always rather running shot than phase. This Sylvie doesn't have any kind of move and attack. So maybe phasing is better. Um, but I don't know. I like her 60 point line. I don't think I'm adding five for that. And then uh, I'll talk about the next character too. Cause no, 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 come on. I, so to be fair, I've talked to this character a lot, uh, but I have no shortage of good things to say about old John Walker, captain America here. Uh, celebrity soldier, accurate keywords, uh, 75 points plus five. He's in the captain America. Uh, special speed powers to charge for elite climb, which is just so good. Just wants to do the job. Uh, he's your new Captain America with ESD and toughness for his first four clicks, both those powers for three clicks. He's got just awesome stats, and they only get better um, with his trait here. And Captain America KOs an opposing character. After resolutions, if he is equipped with the Disney Plus uh, Captain America shield, you may remove it from the game. If you do this game, modify John Walker Captain America's combat values plus one, and he can use Battle Fury and Steel Energy. So now he's a Charge Flurry who's a 12 for four. He's a 19 defense, still has that ESD, no longer traded. Um, but even though, like, so his ESD was like, if you already have it, plus one. Well, you don't lose anything, because now you've got plus one and ESD. You only lose something out on those last three clicks of life. Right. Uh, but dude, Charge, Flurry, Battle Fury, he's, he's such a beast. For 80 points, love it. Again, people being like, ah, oh, ESD on a Charge piece? Well, he's got Quake, so he's dealing knockback, so shut your mouth. Um <laughs> No, which is very easy. Later in dial, he doesn't have Quake anymore. Doesn't matter as much, though, because he's going to heal up. He's going to ignore your shape change. He's good. I love him so much. I played him on a celebrity team with that uh, Uncommon Scarlet Witch. That 19 Defend is dope. Giving him the 22 from range early game or just a 20 defense late game, which is so nice. I uh, played him with John Cena, too. That was a really fun game. Um, but, dude, Celebrity Keyword just offers so much good stuff. Soldier Keyword has so much good stuff. Uh, he obviously gets willpower later, help him keep going. Uh, he's awesome. He's leadership that fourth click where he can be a 13 for four, 19 and 11 speed. So dope. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love this John Walker. I'm playing the heck out of him for a long time. Uh, such a good, just such a good Captain America figure. So unique. Uh, so cool. And just so accurate. A, a character like him is so flavorful and so unlike anything we've had in the MCU ever. And it just goes so well to a dial. Rant over. But I love it. Love this piece. 10 out of 10. 5 out of 5. Yeah. This is like a figure that like I always played if I pulled. I pulled it in two sealed. Yeah. Somehow. Lucky son of a gun. Um, yeah. He's an instant play. He's just. He does so much. Charge flurry is already one of my favorite combos. Charge flurry plus one stats when you're already in 11 for 3. Plus battle fury to get rid of all of the shape change in this set. Which as we've mentioned, is like a lot, um, is big. Uh, steel energy to offset all of the mystics in this set, also very big. Um, Sculpt-wise, they actually, behind the shield, they painted the glove, like the the fingerless glove, oh, yeah. behind the shield, and painted his fingers, like, flesh-colored. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, like, you wouldn't even notice it. It's, like, 
fairly hidden. You kind of have to like look sweet, through, but uh, yeah, they actually like added that, and it is I... a different hand than like the the prime version. So it's not like they right. like, took the prime, slapped a shield on. Like it is a different. Right now. So, uh, True. speaking of the prime, I'm not gonna say this guy's better than like the the rare, but he is a lot cheaper. He's for, different and he's like, cheaper, which is nice. Of, like a ton of potential output, damage wise. Two range, zero or no, two lightning bolts, zero range, <laughs> fifty points. Uh, he's only got the brute and soldier keywords, so he's got a full dial of his special speed or no, jeez, four clicks of his special speed power. That is, uh, it's the same but black. Charge stealth. When U.S. agent uses charge, if he occupies hindering terrain, do not have his speed. So full speed charge for the first four yeah. clicks. Close combat expert. His full dial. Uh, he has. Technically, combat reflexes his full dial thanks to the 001 Super Soldier. Or no, that's Super Soldier Serum. The 003 U.S. Agent Shield. He's also the only character in the set that comes with the shield. That hey. specific one. So he can be played with both. He gets to start with both. Doesn't have to pay any extra. Comes in at 50 points with two objects equipped. He may have both of these equipped at the same time. That's crazy. 50 points, two objects equipped. One's a 50-50 uh, willpower, and one's a uh, combat reflexes plus thing. So his defense for his first two clicks is combat reflexes, toughness, willpower. So he's a 50-50 top dial uh, for the first two clicks at the very least. And then he's also, for close attacks, a 21 minimum. Uh, yeah. Just kind of gnarly. He has super strength his whole dial. He has... Uh, just normal combat reflexes on his clicks three and four and then goes to regen and then he has a special trait outside of the two equipments that is consistently making the right decisions in the heat of battle when a friendly character within line of fire is KO'd by an opposing effect choose one to use for the rest of the game flurry exploit weakness super senses battle fury and outwit so obviously like my ranked choices are like if i'm top dial i'm going flurry because i'm a 12 for four right. twice uh i'll probably go with exploit after that like if i'm still top dial uh maybe right. i go with battle fury depending on like what my you know super senses obviously adding a rollout to his already kind of crazy defenses this is all for 50 points. Uh, brute, soldier, keyword. Like, he's got a ton of utility options. Um, obviously, Calder likes this guy way more than I do, but... Oh, yeah, no, absolutely, dude. Is, like, I'm going to put, like, paparazzi out there and try and hit people with mystics. Or there something. you go. Like, I'm going yeah. to do something where I try and uh, KO, like, bystanders, like, every turn so that I eventually get... Flurry, exploit, super senses, battle fury, and outwit. Yeah. Like I want, I want it all. I want the gauntlet. <laughs> oh, absolutely, no, totally. Of course you do. Uh, that's the, the cool thing about it is like it's so situational, and each of these like fits like a different thing. If you're like, yeah, I'm gonna be able to attack next turn. Let's go for it. Um, if you need more defensive stuff, super senses. I mean, you've already like mentioned all of it, but I love this dude. I love him so much right, that he's like the only character in the set that's got like full dial, super strength, very fitting plays so much like him it's just different right like thing that like quote unquote activates him is like your opponent has to do something this is uh with captain america it's you get to actively like go after yeah, one opposing figure somebody. you know so it takes yeah. away like your ability to like this dude to his max you can obviously still do things like you can play cheap figures like you said paparazzi if you're playing brute i guess like the name friends, friends of humanity yeah. yeah you could throw those guys on there um, for like cheap little one click figures, mystics. yeah, yeah. I hope they like mystics or they kill them somehow. But it's rough having to rely on an opposing effect to do something to make your character better. Um, but still, good. He's got so much sticking around power. The regen late dial is really solid. Well, and you I, really want to like. I love this figure. You have to sink a lot of effort into him because he's. You do, yeah. He puts out a ton of damage. Stealth, and then also combo time, reflexes. Yeah, yeah. stealth points. A 21 defense yeah. uh, from close. Really gross. Like, it's just, yeah, it's rough to deal with. He, he um, never really goes lower than that. Like, he doesn't get rid of the shield, so he's always yeah, at so he's a 20. 20 from close. Or like so nice. Close, yeah. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, it's so dope. 
Uh, last dude in the rares. We got Pietro Maximoff. He, what a scumbag. What a little silly string little trickster Ralph here. Another Bonner. Uh, off Bonner here. Um, he's got, of course, the trade shape change. He's a spooktacular figure. He has super senses almost his whole dial. He has hypersonic speed his entire dial. He does start top click outwit, which is really come in handy. Um, against me if the times i've played against him his top look out weight i've never played him uh, mystics of course but his thing is that he's got silly string in the neighborhood personal speed is speed power for his first two and you guessed it last click yeah i know these uh Halloween spectacular figures seem to follow a, a certain design uh choice going on here a, a rhythm um, so hypersonic speed, when he uses it after resolutions roll a d6 on a four through six on a 50 50 chance Give an action token to each opposing character he moved adjacent to during the action. He's got an 11 speed, which of course can be potentially perplexed up to a 14. When you hypersonic, you obviously you have a double circle arrow, move through, or not move through, but move next to characters without stopping. So you can potentially token up an entire team just on a 50-50 roll. This is the best in-cap piece ever made. It doesn't even have in-cap. Like, it's incredible. So he's only a 10 for 2, and he's got no precision strike. So you're punching a throwaway piece, you know, or whatever. But the tokening of, like, an almost an entire team on that 50-50 roll is so good. You know, and sure, sometimes it won't happen. But, I mean, 50-50, it'll work in some of your games, trust me. And it's so good when it pops off, because you can really mess up a team. I mean, think they're on turn 2. You double action token everyone with this guy. That's rough, and he's still, in his own way, he's an 18 defense with shape change super senses. He's tough to get yeah. down Two with stop, stop click. It's rough, man. This and yeah, is... like, he is such a solid, solid, spectacular figure, and just a good, I mean, celebrity, mystical, speedster, again. Mm. Great keywords. All I the keywords. three of these, so yeah. I, don't, oh. I don't see myself playing three, oh. but on the off chance that I do, for 135 points... Oh, uh, like maybe I play three of these and I give them injection tokens with power broker. Oh my gosh, like I hate every it. Every turn I have I hate it. 50 50 chance of removing action tokens for myself and then 50 50 chance oh. of giving actions to an opposing character. Gross, dude, so gross. It's, it's, it's painful. The best version of like uh, an action token since like Mr. Mixeltic or whatever. Oh, um, I would say since party. like Lasso Wonder Woman or something, oh, shifting that's Wonder Woman. Uh, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. But like, I he's mean, nuts. 50, dude. 50, I don't have to hit with an attack. Yeah. I just, doesn't matter what your defense is. But like, like, the one thing about giving action tokens is lead, leadership and willpower are so strong right now. They are. That you have to plan on like your, your opponent eventually getting one of those. And so, like, no matter how many times you double action them, uh, you know, whatever, back-to-back -back action token them, they will eventually yep. get cleared one turn and be able to, like, fight back. <laughs> Which is where his, like, his double rollout and his stop click is, like, huge. Like, maybe he's not ever dealing good damage, but that double rollout stop click uh, hit me down with two of them to my empower, and now I have a Ralph Bonner that's hitting for four. Ha, ha, ha. Weird how well he works together. Um, so, such a weird name. I almost Bonner, want to see if there's Bonner. any other figures with that name, but I'm not gonna I'm not Don't gonna I right guarantee now. there's not. All right. Next up is probably I'm gonna say the most expensive super rare that's not a prime. Like yeah. I think he'll hold his value the best just because of the object. Not necessarily because of like the figure itself, but Spider Man. Uh just plain old Spider Man, but this is the zombie verse, uh the what if zombies Spider Man. Full dial of charge, half dial of quake, half dial of precision strike, half dial of combat reflexes, half dial of willpower, half dial of outwit, half dial of combat, close combat expert. Almost mm -hmm. like you could have split his dial evenly in the middle. Uh, maybe gave him, I don't know, what would I have given that bottom dial? A 13 for 4 with precision strike, strong. That's so good. So I would have had... It's almost like... like 50, 45? 45. Like, it's weird because... 5 and then plus 5 for the cloak, yeah. Yeah, man, I don't know. That's that's a hard that's a hard click to cut. The Eight clicks dust total. Fifty fifty two percent. Get tough. Yeah, never goes below 17, in eleven. Uh, technically, I... over half his dials a twelve. Um, but yeah. the big thing is he he can be yeah. equipped with the cloak, 
for five points, the cloak is sidestep plus this the flight. Um, I I have not played a sealed with the cloak. I will say I KO'd an opposing Spider Man, and I equipped the cloak to Ravona Renslayer. Do you know how much more, just like how much better every figure gets with sidestep <laughs> flight plasticity? I mean, yeah. yeah. So Ravona with phasing. Phasing, sidestep, plasticity, flight, PD, being able to posi- pedi- yeah, positioned for PD. Petition. Yeah, petition. Petition. She's like, here, sign this, please. Uh, no, being <laughs> able to position for PD without taking an action token was big. Being able to like be somewhere for my prob control and then move back for my defend. Uh, being able to carry people away from like certain situations. Like that, the object is just nuts. It just really, it's its nuts. On a character like Ravona, which I would not like rate at like a five, I would have said like Ravona's like a three in sealed, uh, maybe like a two in constructed. Um, with the cloak attached, like it had that just been like a trait that was added for free, she's suddenly like a five. She's like so mobile, so good at like, and that's that's just any character. You attach it to any character, and they get yeah. that. They get that sidestep, that plasticity, that flight. And uh, plasticity only fails on a breakaway on a one. So that's one of like those <clears throat> few powers that is just stupid good at getting away from stuff. Um, but outside of that, uh, this Spider-Man has super senses on a four through six. When he uses it and succeeds after resolutions, give, it the, give the attack-er an action token. Um it's pretty good. If you uh, copy like Wonder Woman, it's suddenly a three through six, which is better than a fifty-fifty. If you attach like oh. Galactus so that he has protected out wit, um, you know it's a hundred points for that. But like we've seen Spidermans with good super sense rolls, uh, this one's just specifically good because he could come with the cloak. That's mainly the only thing that I'm interested in. Um, I don't think I add him specifically to any Spider-Man family, Avengers, or scientist teams. Those are his keywords. But I will say, like, he is just a super fun casual piece, and the cloak does add, like, a ton of utility to him. Like, definitely, like, yeah. spend more time talking about, like, the, how good the cloak is and how much stuff you can put on, like, or give the cloak to than actually talking about this Spider-Man. Because he's a fine Spider-Man. He's got a unique Spider-Man dial for yeah. sure. Like the cloak is just like he's the reason to get this you guy. The cloak on, is so insanely anything. good. Anything and yeah. it's ah, so good. It's All the so people good. That come with the tesseract. If you put the cloak on them, they're so much better. Actually, way better. Yeah, way better to give them the cloak than the tesseract. Yeah, sidestep plasticity and flight. Yeah, surprisingly better than power action. Place like just would have thunk. Yeah, Who would have possibly believed. Um. All right, we got Rogers inbound here, Hydra Stomper. I'm actually, you know, like, it's not the craziest dial. I like it a lot. Uh, for 75 points, first of all, that sculpt's amazing. It's huge, it's really big. It's, it's like this big thing, doing this big juggernaut type running through stuff. He's huge, yeah, like, oh my gosh, he's huge, dude. Um, he looks so cool. I I really like the design of the Hydra Stomper. Um, it's, it's so dope. Uh, he's a giant. He's got six range, two targets. So, you know, he's got that super willpower. Only fails on a one or two, which is nice. It's a trait. Rogers inbound. When Hydra Stomper's KO'd, you can generate a Disney Plus skinny Steve Rogers on your sideline on click one. Square he last occupied, protected pulse wave. So, even once this guy goes down, then you get Rogers as your support. You know, like we said, leadership, shield, TA, all that fun stuff. Um, this dude's got a 10 speed charge for his first five clicks. I uh, always got eight speed on the last one. Uh, he's got impervious on his first five. He's got exploit on his first five, and he's got a special attack power for his first five. Quake, when Hydra Stomper uses it, he may also target all characters that he moved through this turn. Of course, he's a giant, so he can move. And he's got a double circle arrow when he moves. He moves through characters, which is so dope. Um, so now he can already quake from two squares away from where he's at, like adjacency wise, which is so cool with giant reach. And now you can also just quake through everyone he moved through. So like quake an entire team, super easy. This guy a quake for two damage exploit, solid eleven attack. I really really like. Uh, and later dial he switches gears a little bit. Uh, I wish he didn't go down to a nine attack. Slightly balanced. He's got RCE, but it, he goes into running shot, invulnerability, 
RCE with a an eight speed, nine attack, seventeen defense, but a four damage. So he's a ten for five. Hopefully you have uh, some perplex and prob alive by the time he's on these two little clicks, but that can be a big problem for your opponent if you don't take him out once he's on those those last two clicks, dude. Like letting someone have a five damage, six range, two targets. Uh, so that's a what is that a do, 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 10 square reach with his eight movement that's pretty dope like a 10 square reach two target five damage 10 attack sure but man that five damage you can't can't be letting people hit you like that dude that's rough uh so i like it 75 points you know above average it's, clicks of life it's probably gonna be every turn while he's on those clicks until you ko him true yeah with that willpower you yeah. definitely want him to get off that armor howling commandos pass we've said is good shield is good soldiers are good Stark Industries is fun. You play him on a fun Stark Industries. The old armory boy. Yeah. That's cool. I, I just like him. I li I dig him a lot. I'm glad he was made. Um, It's another one of those it's figures. Uh, uh, designed by uh, Howard, right? Howard, yeah. Howard Stark. Mm -hmm. old, old beginning of Stark Industries. I was looking at the flavor text for those that last couple of clicks. His oh, sure. combat expert is, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Oh, nice. Well, I mean, he kind of does that little comeback. I mean, spoiler for what I mean, we said a million spoilers, but like, it's like they think he's dead or whatever, you know, Peggy's going to yeah. have like, you know, and then he's like, comes back and it's like, yeah, be back in it, boys. Uh, again, I don't know how much WizKids knew about what if. I think what if they knew almost nothing about like making this set because he, he can't be equipped to the Cosmic Cube. Not that it would be very thematic, but technically that is what is powering his yeah. suit uh, for the first part. And then it gets a different power source. Um, But yeah. yeah. That's correct. I mean, Tesseract, yeah. Cosmic Cube by Comic Standards. Uh, Tesseract. I, 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 sorry, I always want to call it. I always want to call yeah. it Cosmic Cube. It's just bad habit. It, it to be honest, it the Cosmic is. Cube is like way more powerful than what they've shown the Tesseract to be. The Tesseract to be, yeah. But I mean, yeah, for whatever reason, they co-opted that as uh, an Infinity Gem. Uh, but here no, we are. He's a great sculpt. He's yeah. extremely fun piece. Um. I have yet to like put one on the map, but every time I've played against one, it's surprising how much damage he puts out before you can finally get rid of him. Yeah. Uh, and I have not played against one that they also pulled a skinny Steve, so that's a shame. It'll be surprising like how that works. I mean, similar to like the old uh, Hulkbuster where like pops out Tony. Um, oh yeah. All right. Non prime. Yeah. Number 041A, Captain Carter, comes in at 95 or 55 points, also 100 or 60, if you come equipped with the shield, which you should. Uh, she, yeah. comes, she comes with it, so there's no reason not to play her with it in any circumstances. She has traded defend and then has a unique modifier, non-adjacent friendly characters within range, modified defense plus one. So with the shield, um, top dial, she's passing out a 19 and then a plus one because she already has a defend so she's basically giving everyone adjacent a 20 and then anyone that's within uh range just gets a plus one just because like and that's they can outwit defend but they can't outwit that unique modifier so that's always good um her top dial she is a 12 speed so she's super fast she's like pietro fast uh 12 speed charge 12 attack with giant reach of 6, which means Ooh, she has a baby. 12 square reach and quake. When uh, Captain Carter knocks back an opposing character, she may choose the direction of the knockback, which again, really cool, really thematic. I really like that. Uh, it's called time to make an entrance. I really like the thought of charging 6, reaching out 6, and then knocking them back 3 squares towards me so that I can line up like some more shots or charges or whatever um no this this captain carter is really solid she's got uh you know charge your whole dial she's got that special attack until click four she's got leadership until click four and invulnerability then she goes to blades outwit toughness for the rest of her dial but like her whole dial no matter which click you start her on um she's just really solid with that shield like the shield is obviously one of the perks of getting her also, like the sculpt is really cool for one, uh, but no, like, yeah. I, I'm hanging on to two of these Dope. because I really like the 55 point line. But I also can see myself playing like one at 55 and one at like 
A hundred? Yeah. Okay. Dang, all right. One at one at 60 and one at 100, technically. Uh, but I really like that like 19 slash 20 defend top dial. And then I really like that 12 attack giant reach of six. That's just nuts. Giant uh, reach of six is nuts. That's some uh, nuck chuck kind of stuff. Ooh, man. It's, it starts stronger than a nuck chuck, but nuck chuck gets going. And nuck chuck gets a little a nuck nuts. Let me tell you. I don't know. That sounds stupid. All right. It does. Moving on. We have Super Rare Prime, uh, 041B Captain Carter. Uh, kind of like her counterpart, but they decided, like, ah, yeah, but let's make her way cheaper, which is insane. Yeah. So her top dial is 75, and then her lower dial is 35. Off. Really 20 points off there, big shoots. No um, reason as she to have to pay to equip. Yeah. yeah, you don't need that. She just gets the shield. She has, so she has traded stealth, like, period, the entire time. She's got full dial running shot. Uh, she's in precision strike her first four clicks with energy explosion on her last two. She has six range, triple target, which is nuts. Uh, first four special damage power, which is enhancement leadership. She uses it and succeeds once this turn. Uh, per turn, once this turn. A friendly character that has shield team ability may use it as free, so that's the power action for the damage value of adjacent friendly character and they make a range combat attack plus one this turn. It's really solid. Um, so they get to use that as free, which is dope. So Skinny Steve using it as free, or anyone with shield is dope. Um, uh, heck, just a friendly character, so she could use it as free and doesn't take away from her action, yeah. which is really cool. Uh, so that's awesome, awesome leadership effect. It's for first four clicks, and she goes on a range combat expert down there, which is fine. Uh, her defense power for her first three is invincible willpower. Oh, I didn't even mention the rest of her trait, why invincible willpower is so good. Um, what's her trait, Simeon? I'm glad you asked. Captain Carter may start the game with the Captain Carter shield equipped, so for free, and, or, why not both, the Super Soldier Serum equipped is both of them equipped. She can have both these equipped at the same time, which means she's got willpower her entire dial, which means in our first three clicks, she's got the 50-50 willpower free, which is nuts. These primes being able to have two things equipped and just have them both for free is so insane, and then also be cheaper than their non-prime counterparts is a little nuts. And U.S. agent really be flexing with the shield and yeah. the serum. It's a little crazy. Same with, yeah, Carter, um, shield and Carter. serum. Yeah, yeah, it's it's dumb, dude. Um, so she's got stealth. She's got her whole defend thing with her 19 defend. She's got a four damage. She's got triple target. She's got precision strike. That's really really awesome. And I didn't even tell you about this other trait she has, which is insane. Establishing theme teams. Characters on your starting force with the soldier or spy keywords gain the shield keyword. So now she takes, oh, you're a soldier, be shield. You're a spy, you can be shield. This is also very different keyword cheating. Um, it's just so cool. So it doesn't like work with Spider-Man or anything, but now she makes things a shield keyword. So now you're looking at the shield keyword being like, okay, what spies can we bring in? Sadly, a lot of spies and shoulder, shoulder, blah, blah, soldiers are shield. Um, that's just true. There's a lot of spies and shoulders. I can't do it. I'm getting tongue twisted. It's rough. Shield, soldier, spy, shoulder, shoulder, the thing that's that's on your body, your shoulder. Uh, but anyways, this can help like DC stuff. This can help uh, like Star Trek stuff for uh, soldiers and spies to be joining shield. It's really cool. I like this form of keyword cheating. Recruiting people to shield is really neat and I dig it. Worst part about her being a prime, though, is I want to put US Agent on a shield team, or I want to put like Josiah X on a shield team. Yeah. They always be making these primes, and this is why they make them primes, because maybe they'd be a little too good. For the first time um, in a long time, I built, yeah. like, while I was hemming and hawing about a team, I built a team with two primes. I put the yeah. Vision prime and uh, Pim Ultron, Ultron Pim on oh, the sure. team. And then hey, I was forgot. Like, staring at it. I was like, man, this is so good. Why aren't people playing this? And then I was like, oh, yeah. That's why. Because <laughs> a double prime. Um, but like 35, she is only three clicks of life, but if you just want wanted to use her for her uh, bringing in teams thing, I could see you do that for 40 points less. She does it. She's still dope. Still I mean, she's 19, still a stealth. Essentially still 19 in, defend. Yeah, exactly. Essentially a 19 defend. She still has the enhancement. She still has the special leadership. If you keep her a little safer, a little more back, then maybe use her for like one big attack eventually. Maybe not start with that with her running shot, you know, with the triple target precision strike. Um, she still has so much utility outside of just being a good attacker that I could, I probably will play her at 35, maybe even more than I play her at 75. 
just to like allow the keyword cheating, the enhancement, the cool leadership. It's so dope. She's such an awesome figure. It's it's tough. Like US Agent is so awesome, but like man, she might also be like tied for like they might be both seeing a lot of play. She just is so fun. Holly Commando's past shield soldier spy, making all those shield teams. She's so fun. I, I can't say enough nice things about her. I love this Captain Carter Prime. She's just so dope. Yeah. I haven't pulled one. Um I did oh. pull two of the non primes, so I have two oh, of the sure. shields. But like yeah, the prime just has like a completely different set of utility that's really solid. Like I honestly think she's like a really solid like ranged attacker, or, like yo yo piece where you might oh, yeah. pop her out to like, you know, twelve for four, hit like target three people, hit a couple, and then move the rest of your team in front of her again so that you're passing out that like nineteen some more. Um and she's not like worried about getting hit. But uh speaking of not worrying about getting hit, we've got Agnes, Agatha Harkness, real name, Celebrity Ooh. Mystical Past, the last of the all new Halloween spooktacular. Um, so I have to give her like the number one spot because she makes Senior Scratchy as her first two clicks special damage power, and then her last click on her stop click special damage power free generate Senior Scratchy bystander max one. So it's max one, but it's free and it doesn't say once per game. So you can just keep making this bunny over and over again. Well, Senior Scratchy has a special attack power that is Blades Claws Fangs, but have the D6 result. It's only a 9 attack, but it is autonomous. So, I mean, might as well. You can get up to a 3. What is this artwork? That is terrible. It's frightening. Who did that? Um, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, that's just <laughs> I don't really know. bad. I don't know who did that. That's Yikes, dude. What four-year-old drew that, man? It's frightening. Uh, what, what, uh, emotionally stunted middle schooler. Is <laughs> no. Um, it's, me. it's me. I'm the middle schooler. Uh, four speed, nine <laughs> attack, 16 defense with super senses. It's tiny, so that's a 17 from range. Special damage is, yeah. power that is enhancement and unique modifier friendly adjacent characters with the mystical or celebrity keyword modify attack plus one it's pretty good and it's really good or mystical uh all the spooktacular characters have celebrity or mystical i believe um those the stupid little it's um stupid no little, i guess uh, she's she's the one tommy uh he not have it? spectacular he's figure he's that celebrity okay no, no, I'm just looking at this. Like, she's the one spectacular figure that her thing is to make senior scratchy. Like, that's like her thing. Right. She doesn't get it full dial. Right. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. know. She's the one. That she has. She, she has, has, has no stealth other. Is yeah. stealthful dial. Sure. Technically, that's fair. Sees through hindering. Um. So like she's. Yes. Yeah, so she does have other. Right. She has other unique stuff that make up. Yeah. Like you know with the the scheme that we were seeing the right. similarity the between all of them the no matter what, first two the and then last right. click. Right. Yeah. Uh, precision strike. Perplex. Sure. Yeah. She Those has plenty of other see. stuff like going on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, she's got mastermind for her first three clicks, which means in most circumstances she can just mastermind a senior scratchy and then generate him again. Uh, she ends up with two clicks of willpower and then a singular stop click. Again, since she's got the spectacular, she's got shape change that she heals off of. She starts with telekinesis on her first two clicks. And then goes to Psych Blast, which on click three is only an 11 for two. But then the rest of her dial, it's an 11 for three, which is pretty solid with six range, two lightning bolts. Uh, okay. 45 points. She's not the most offensive piece. It's mostly the fact that she makes this little enhancement plus one attack. So with Senior Scratchy, she's a 12 for four bottom dial or like an 11 for three top dial. Like she's just good. Um, yeah. and it's, I mean, it's a fun sculpt. It's, you know, pre Wait. like horrifying, witch stuff from WandaVision. Yeah. Me, witch. Yeah. Uh, speaking of WandaVision, or at least the last dude, we have vision here, hundred points. What a gnarly hundred point line. Dude, the, uh, the deep dial Avengers just keep getting filled out. Like the deep dial impervious Avengers, Captain America, oh, Crusader. Yeah. Now we got this vision. Uh, I love, I'm, I'm going to have such a fun deep dial Avengers team, like 400 points, play them with uh, the little 
50 point Steve Rogers and then Josiah X and then maybe swap Steve Rogers for another fun 50 point Avenger who's better than him. Um, and then you got like a reduces penetrating crazy Avengers team. But like, I love this vision. He's so cool, dude. Um, I mean, are you familiar with the ship of Theseus? We are now. Uh, I'm slightly, yes. Uh, he has traded phasing teleport and super senses, and then friendly characters automatically break away from characters. That vision hit this turn. Um, solid, especially when you get to his quake. Um, he doesn't have two targets, so it's not super crazy right away, but it's still really good. Like, automatically breaking away when you running shot pen blast someone. Uh, so top dial, he's a 10 speed, 11 attack, pen blast, running shot with 18 impervious, 4 damage with shape change. The shape change is very helpful. Double rollout top dial. Uh, his big thing is he's got his retaliation, but 9 clicks of life is insane. I mean, he's got running shot, pen blast, that stuff for 3 clicks. Uh, charge, quake, uh, invulnerability, outwit for 3 clicks. Yeah. Off the ton of defense is also huge. Uh, then he's got plasticity, precision strike, toughness, close combat expert. His last two, three ish clicks he doesn't have close combat expert. His very last click, but he's got these three different chunks of how his dial is lined up. It's really cool. Um, stop click, since you mentioned, it, is stop shape change. So he gets shape change again and support. And it's free. KO vision if you do. Choose a friendly character and roll a d6. Heal the character equal to the result, which can be a massive amount of healing. You KO your character that's already on their very last click. Um, so he can freeze, a uh, he can, he's a bit of a Hail Mary, but he can like support someone and then free KO himself, which, you know, again, with that nine attack, isn't a great chance to support. So it is, it is a bit of a Hail Mary move. You're really praying there, hoping it, right. it pops off for you. Um, then he's got his retail traded. So it's power. No other friendly characters in place this turn. Choose an opposing character that attacked Vision or damaged another friendly character since your last turn. Place Vision such that he can make a close attack. Turn the chosen character, then do so. Opposing character damaged another friendly character with the celebrity keyword. This trait is activated as free instead. It's pretty simple. Place and attack type thing. Um, so he's better on celebrity than he is on Avengers. Or, you know, if you find there's plenty of Avengers that are celebrities, but... I like this vision. I mean, for 100 points, the stop click, the impervious, the shape change, you know, the always having a reducer in vulnerability and then down to toughness, the deep dial. He's got a lot of staying power. And, you know, if you do want to, like, have him bite the bullet to really buff up someone else, that can potentially be your minimum healing one. And, you know, you're thinking, like, maybe he won't even last till the next turn. You know, he's got just the shape change role really protecting him. Yeah, he's a 6 defense. defense toughness, yeah. So... I mean, he's an 11 until click well, 5, and then he's a 10. Change super senses on that click as well. Like, That's true. He does. You're right. He does his super is, senses yeah, traded. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, so he's triple rollout top dial. I totally forgot about that. I mean, it's amazing. He's, yeah, he's so cool. He is this is like top dial, yeah. the best vision dial they've, they've made. I, th I feel very confident saying this is the best vision dial they've made. So it's, it's awesome. It feels like vision. It's really cool. This to me really feels like uh, Age of Ultron vision, where it's just like blasting you know and then we got like the hammer with charge quake maybe outwit because no one saw that coming type of deal it just it's just such a good vision dial for just vision as a character in the mcu yeah. uh, c3 hindering of course with uh avengers ta is always nice um but yeah vision is dope i i would say pick one up if you want to play avengers oh he's a 50 point line I totally forgot about this i i don't think i'd ever play him at the 50 point line no um, uh i mean I, maybe if you're all right doing the retail like on celebrity, you're just doing the retail, doing sure. Retail, you free yeah. like 10 for three. Free place, hit, attack, and outwit, then outwit and then something. Punch. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Pretty decent. Also, just so, solid, yeah. Having that uh, super sense rollout and always having that like stop click. 50 points isn't True. terrible. But it's, not, it's not terrible. It's a different yeah. use for sure. It's a very yeah. different use for him. Um, Looking on it right after I saw the hundred though was yeah. very shocking, and I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know about this." Yeah. I don't know if I associate these two <laughs> together, I definitely um, would have liked cool. if it was click five, where he's an eleven for three instead of a ten for three. But yeah, I mean, this click is one of two clicks on his dial where he doesn't have an eleven attack. Yeah. That's the annoying part. Then he's his close combat expert. The next two clicks. Right. You no, know, but he might get blown past that right to his nine attack. Yeah. You no. Know, go sacrifice himself type click. click it's a little rough but yeah oh yeah. well, that's just my lack of vision i guess All not right. seeing the use for his dial but i'm speaking he... of lack of vision look at this guy he's he's barely got Ooh. any color it's, is it a color variant is it no no 
Uh, no, it's more of like an homage to the original uh, Vision when he I... first appeared in comics and he was somewhat colorless. Although they didn't really know what color color was back then. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Prime Vision, just the Vision, comes in at 200, 150 points. Uh, he's 11 clicks long for 200 points. On his 100 point dial, dial. darts on click 6. So click 6 to click 11. Uh, and then his 50 point dial, he's only got 3 clicks. So he starts on click 9. Um, I probably Hello. wouldn't play him at 50 points. That seems too little. He has no printed, no uh, standard printed powers on his dial. He has a special speed power, his whole dial, a special damage power, his whole dial, and a special defense power, his whole dial. He has a trait that is plasticity. Adjacent opposing, ca opposing characters can't use improved abilities. This means uh, improved movement abilities, granted from like phasing or leap climb or plasticity or anything like that. Uh, it also means improved targeting abilities, like Colossals being able to shoot out of adjacency. Suddenly, they can't do that. So you park this guy next mm. to Galactus, and Galactus is like, ah, I can't shoot him. I am next to him. I am giant, but I cannot do it. It's pretty fun. Um, <laughs> just being okay. kind of goofy yeah. because of like that alone. Yeah. I, I love being like, haha, you can't do yeah. the thing that you should be able to do because you're like... 12 stories tall or whatever um it's funny this vision's stats go uh 12 speed for his first three clicks 10 speed for the next four nine speed for the last four he's a 12 attack for his first three clicks an 11 attack for his middle four clicks from click four to seven and then a 10 10 attack for his last four clicks uh 19 for the first three four damage for the first three and then he goes to an 18 for the four and three damage for the the four from four through seven and then uh click well i guess he's a four or no he's a three damage from click four through eleven uh he's an 18 from click four through seven and then he's a 17 from eight to eleven so his stats are pretty static uh depending on what point value you pick they're going to be basically assigned to that point value his special <laughs> speed power is Flurry, phasing teleport. When the vision uses phasing teleport after resolutions, it can use flurry as free. Pretty solid. So hey, that's say, pretty good. Like, it's not like that uh, that silly serpent society. Uh, if they moved like three squares or less, he can full Dang. phasing twelve squares hey. and flurry. Pretty solid. Uh, so yeah. Defense power, invincible, super senses, willpower, protected outwit. So it's lowercase. That means only his invincible super senses and willpower is protected. Rest of his dial, which is just his speed power, uh, his traded plasticity, and his damage power, you can outwit, um, potentially. His damage power, I request elaboration. Outwit shape change. When the vision uses shape change and succeeds, after resolutions, heal it one click. That means I, I don't see myself playing this guy at tw 200 points, but... If my opponent cannot outwit my damage power, I hit my shape change, and I heal from it. Uh, they can't outwit, like, regardless of anything. They can't, well, that's not true. There's things that can get rid of protected outwit or safeguard. Yeah. Um, but assuming they don't have anything like that, uh, I have my invincible super senses willpower the whole dial. So I always have a rollout. I always have something that can potentially take action tokens out of me. Um, if they don't outwit my damage power, I have two rollouts. I have a way to heal, and if they don't outwit my uh, speed power, I can just boop around the map constantly, taking out like all of their support pieces, all of their whatever. Uh, he's got robot sword keyword, eight range. Probably won't use the range too much, but like man, he just seems on paper like I have not played him yet. On paper, he seems really, really good. Stats wise, eh, maybe not. Like I'm not sure, but like as far as like reducing damage goes, he is like pretty top tier. Two rollouts, protected outwit, invincible. Uh, yeah, he's just he's doing a whole lot, and potentially even healing himself. Um, man, who is the person that heals robots? There's somebody. Was it like Doug Lock? I don't remember. Uh, 
I'll to do this free support, like uh, Bolivar Trask. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's, it's not like a free quick heal a robot, but it's like free support. I'm gonna do something, something like that with robot. Yeah, good. I like Vision a lot. I love the uh, flurry facing teleport. It's really really dope. Some perplexes or tempo or something for non theme. You know, move up a thirteen squares. Carry somebody like else. Uh, you know, maybe carry like I gardener with you. It's two free flurries. He drops the chainsaw. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's like yeah. that's like a part of a solid team there. No, like pretty like decent alpha uh, with some venom magneto. Dang, oh, I'm giving you guys all this all this good stuff to work with. Oh man, I keep that. I gotta keep that locked yeah. in my head. No, I think I think it's fun to team build around this guy. I think the way his dial is built up, people kind of like the idea. It's cool. It's fitting, right? So he's like he's got just white boxes. No, yeah, his entire thing. Blank. He's all blank just dial. blank. You know, he's plain. Like that's him. There's no color to his dial. Like it's really sweet. Like I like when they do stuff like this with the dial. It matches the sculpt, matches the feel of him. You know, you know, in a way. Um, naturally, the ship of Theseus is an artifact in a museum. <laughs> like love you. that. I love that dude. Just yeah. like you, old man. Bah! And then he. That's when he elbow drops vision from the top yeah. rope of their house. He's like, um, how no, dare he's such you a cool color figure. Color our pristine robotic body. Yeah. This might be one of like the first sets where I've been like, man, every prime I can think of a ton of teams with them. Oh, every it's, single it's prime, I'm just like, build. it's they're awesome. Say, they're so good. The vision probably fits the fewest teams because I feel like probably. I have to play robot with him. Captain Carter can pretty much go on any team at like the lower point line or the higher point yeah. line. Uh, usually, like yeah. shield or soldier. U.S. agent, I can think of breaking theme to like. It has to be from an opposing effect, so I can't just I like but any theme team or any like team that just drops a ton of bystanders that my opponent has to yeah. chew through. Uh, I can see US yeah. agent being working on that. And then good, yeah. there's literally any team I want to remove action <laughs> tokens from characters. Dude. Dude. It's like anybody. Like hey, is any a team. character's yeah. good when they don't have two action tokens. I don't know. Maybe oh. this prime vision. Dude. I sure hope we oh. play a a double prime night soon. Yeah, that would actually be fun. Yeah, no. Uh, next up, to follow that up, this guy, I don't know, there's a lot that can be said. This dude is team build with him. I think he can, be, he can become busted. Face value, like, kind of lame. Uh, we're talking about the Watcher here. He is a unique. He's 25 points. Or Cosmic, 12 phasing the whole dial. 9 attack, thing whole dial. A toughness, almost the whole dial. With one click of regen on click 4. Um, and then leadership, the entire dial, which is relatively cheap. Cosmic's a good keyword. Deity, Herald. Uh, Herald is becoming such a good keyword, uh, which I like. But he has a trait called Ponder the Question, What If? At the beginning of the game, roll a d6 and give the Watcher a number of What If tokens. So basically, e equal to half the result, so it's a max of three. You know, potentially you can only do this once. Yeah. Give him one, but max of three. So... Power, remove a what if token. If you do replace an adjacent friendly character with a character of equal or less points on your sideline, replacement character must share a name uh, with a replaced character. So if you have another Black Panther, uh, another Loki, another Captain America, a Superman, a Batman, a Wonder Woman, whatever, you can power action when they're adjacent to Watcher to bring in this version. You replace them basically. Now you have that guy. So replaced effects are cool. Uh, they can drop their equipment. You know, if you're running uh, a Captain America that's equipped to the Time Gem or whatever, you place them with a different Captain America. You've got the Time Gem on your team now. Uh, as like, it's it's very wonky. It's unreliable, which is a little rough. You can guarantee do it once. So maybe have two. I would say I wouldn't say always build for three. Or if you do build for three, be okay with having yeah, one you have to person on your team. Plan on you know, only being able to swap one person. Once, yeah, you definitely got to plan on only being able to do it once because that's yes. your only guarantee. And maybe only play it for the one, you know, type of figure. I mean, it's it's just different. That, he is a twenty-five point, like stupid cheap leadership. Yeah, for like those for cosmic deity and herald. It's like right. very true. If that's the only thing you use him for. Like people used to play herald root for twenty-point leadership. Yeah, twenty like, points, points true. More, and maybe like you sneak one character into like the team that's good yeah. or i mean it's it's essentially think... like shifting focus for any character that doesn't have a modern right. shift, shifting Once. focus yeah is, yeah it's good 
Oh, it's still solid. I think uh, if we just say he only does that once per game, then for 25 points, that's still pretty awesome. Like, mm -hmm. leadership. But like, then after he does that, he is just your leadership. Um, yeah. In phase, out of the fray, which is nice, so he doesn't score scores an easy 25 points on you. Tie up if, if or phase to tie up. Very true. I mean, yeah. 18 defense is still solid. Uh, toughness makes him a little bit harder than usual to run. Sh one shot, but uh, four clicks is little rough for the watcher no, here like most people aren't packing with like their big hitter they're not packing like a exploit so like if they if they've got like what like strange supreme um yeah. they've got like a 12 for four but like that's not gonna one shot the watcher that's gonna deal three he'll end up on his regen click um uh, but i mean that's yeah yeah theory crafting with this guy is mostly on the what can i swap out kind of stuff um, and that's it like lends you to any kind of keyword cheating if you want to do cosmic deity herald and have a theme team and then sneak somebody who for some reason has that on one of their clicks but like not on like a different like if there's a deity batman yeah you want like the uh, i don't know gotham batman i don't know it's <laughs> yeah it's cool it really is um and it's one of like the I think there's about three or four figures in this set that are like huge into like just just theory craft building. Uh, he's one yeah. of them for sure because he really makes you look at like some of the other stuff. Uh, the last Loki, just kidding. There's two more. Um, the second to last Loki, just kidding. The the third to last. Uh, this is Croca Loki, <laughs> Owl Loki, whatever Gator Loki. Uh, for 65 points, you can add the Tesseract to be 70 points, but I don't want to because he has Char, Flurry, Stealth. For his first four clicks, he's an alligator. All of his flavor text is really cool. It says, like, alligator noises for eating the neighbor's cat. Alligator it it is funny. For, like, yeah, it's pretty funny. I really like it. He's got the dolphin team ability, or dolphin team ability. Jeez. It's a long podcast. He's got the dolphin. It's been a long podcast. Combat symbol for speed. His speed symbol is the dolphin. That means if he's in uh, water terrain, you can't target him outside of four squares. Pretty okay. good for stealth. Um, he also just has stealth for his first four clicks. Charge, flurry, yep. stealth. He has blades, his whole dial. Blades, claws, fangs, precision strike. When Loki uses blades, claws, fangs, hit characters gain a mobile. He's one of those few characters that can pass out a mobile. Um, obviously, like, WWE had the only standard power, standard listed power that like could hand hey. out a mobile, but being able to tap people, give them a mobile, it's big. Like it's really big, especially in like a, yeah. a world where taxis are everywhere, where lock jaws and chip and I mean anything is everywhere. Uh, Magneto with double TK, like being able to charge flurry if you hit once. It doesn't even matter if you deal damage. Just if you hit, they're immobile. Like, that's good. Good power. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm paying 65 points for this, but I I pulled one. I'm keeping it. I know one person that bought six of them day one because they want to play, yeah, they want to play a full team. Okay. Which, to be fair, like, I did the same with Hellcow. It wasn't, like, day one, but I yeah. traded. A lot, through, like, man. Yeah, it's a lot. I traded for a bunch of Hellcows Dang. because it was just fun. Um, that's all he does. He's got, you know, toughness for his first four, four clicks. He's got shape change on his first two and his last two, and then three clicks in the middle of Battle Fury. He's got some regen, some normal charge. He's a fun figure with mystics and, uh, yeah, animal, Asgardian, deity, future, monster, mystical, past. I wouldn't give him monster. He's an animal. He's not a monster. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the monster bit, but sure. Yeah, alligators aren't monsters. That's yeah. misunderstood. Don't be vilifying an alligator like that. Uh, next up is Winter Soldier, aka well, it's actually the White Wolf. Um, I love this Winter Soldier so much. Obviously, I played him in your and I's first sealed game, which you guys can check out on YouTube if you haven't already. So, um, the extra five points he gets to start the game with the Super Soldier Serum equipped, so he's sixty-five or seventy with the Super Soldier Serum. Such a dope like utility piece. So. He did. He has close combat expert and super senses and willpower, so he's got that 50-50 willpower with the serum. 
for his first four clicks, he has running shot stealth, and then he also has charge, but only if he occupies hindering terrain. Now, to go perfectly Such with his cool. running shot, oh, it's so good, dude. You running shot oh. into hindering. Now you're in stealth. Oh. Next turn, charge. Charge. Yeah. Because you're in hindering, yeah. Oh. With running shot, he has a full square reach with his seven range, and he's got pen blast. Charge, he's got a 10 square reach because he's got the full speed charge, and he's got exploit, but then it's a 12 for four because of close combat expert. Dude does penetrating up close, he does it at range, so he's got both your penetrating options covered. He has both your move and attack options covered for range and up close. He's protected uh, from range with his stealth. He's also a wild card to wild card whatever you want. Oh, you know it'd be pretty decent? Wonder Woman team ability. So now he's got 50-50 senses. You may not always have access to that, but still there's tons of good stuff to wild card and sealed and in any, you know, constructed, of course. Uh, Soldier, Spy, Wakanda, Avengers. You can give him Avengers initiative. Now he sees through stealth yeah, and, and he's shooting TA, people. So that, yeah, shield TA. Like, Carter can give him free shield. Like, True. Like, yeah. A lot of like random stuff. You no. Know? Um, he just starts off so strong, and he stays strong for his first four clicks, which is great. Uh, let's remember, he's got Super Soldier Serum equipped later in the dial, so he still has willpower. And he's just purely a charge piece when it gets down dial. So he's always got charge, probably in the thick of it by now. And remember, he's got that close combat expert, so he's a 10 attack, 3 damage, and then 2 damage. Um, but he's got last 3 clicks is charge, precision strike, combat reflexes, and perplex. So he's going to be at least an 11, his entire dial from close. So down dial, he's an 11 for 4 on click 5. He's got some perplexes, maybe make him a 12 attack, you know, with 3 damage or something down there. Combat reflexes, he's just such a dope figure. I mean, for 70 points, or even 65, without the Super Soldier Serum, like, dude, so well point-costed. I, I love, love this Winter Soldier. He works... Uh, also, well, in tandem with the next Falcon we're going to talk about, I love how they've done the dial design for each version of the Winter Soldier and the Falcon another, in the set. It's really cool. Ability he can steal if he's getting in close as uh, Masters of Evil. Um, oh, yeah. But no, plenty of Soldier Masters of Evil that you can he, take from. He absolutely sure. is for 65 points. Like, I don't know. The five points is worth it. Depends on like how close. Hey, you know, I don't know. Sometimes comes. either... Like, it, you'll have to look at the rest of your team right. and then see, like, if oh, do I have the points? Broker, then I don't. <laughs> but if I'm not playing Power Broker, maybe I do. Maybe. Well, why not? Give him more. All right. Before we get to the Falcon, uh, we've got President Loki. Also, just 047 Loki. Uh, second to last Loki. This is the super air. He is the one that comes with a Tesseract. So, of course, he has the trait to add it. Again, the Tesseract is phasing. When the character uses phasing, they can use prob, I think, until their next turn. Um, let me see if it says here. No, that's just that just says what that does. Okay. Um, this Loki has seven range, two lightning bolts. He's got four clicks of mind control, penetrating psychic blast, mastermind, and then his special damage power that is outwit but can be used it but can use it an additional number of times equal to the number of broken promise tokens protected to outwit. So you can't outwit this Loki's outwit. His last three clicks are stealth, steel energy, regen, outwit. I like that. Uh, he's mystics. So I don't think his mystics kicks off as good as some of the other Lokis because obviously he does not have any reducers, but he does have... Uh, a trait that is a politician you can trust. Leadership shape change. When Loki uses either and succeeds, give him a broken, broken promise token. So leadership or shape change. Maximum three broken promise tokens. When Loki is hit by an opponent's attack, remove all of his broken promise tokens. If Loki has three broken promise tokens, he has free. Choose an opposing character within range and deal them one penetrating damage. After resolutions, roll a d6 on a 1 through 3, remove a broken promise token. So you have to get up to the 3, which is your max. If you get yeah. hit, you lose them. But when you have 3, free, deal someone pen damage. And then if you deal them pen damage and you roll a 1 through 3, you remove one. But like all you have to do is hit one more leadership or one more shape change. He's a very cool, very niche figure. Again, uh, outwit, but can use an additional time for each number of the broken promise tokens. So potentially three times to like outwit for one character. 
Um, he's actually one of the few that I would play with the Tesseract because for 80 points, being able to get like out of tied up situations is pretty important for this guy. He is a uh, very much like seven range away, free dealing you a pen damage. Uh, I mean, outwitting like uh, four characters or three. Or characters line later. of fire for the penetrating damage thing. So that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, within oh, that's range. Dope. Yeah. Yeah. Like so that. Seven squares through walls, whatever. Uh, he's yeah. interesting. I'm definitely gonna play him a few times. I'm yeah. definitely gonna like try and get a feel for like the broken promise tokens. Um, since he comes with the Tesseract, he's easily one of like the ones that I play with the Tesseract. But as guardian deity, future mystical past politician, I don't think he brings enough to like the table to team build with too much. He's just one of those characters that I want to build around to kind of see, you know, every turn I deal you one pen damage for free within seven squares. You have to try and get me. I can phase, I can mastermind. I can outwit three times. I can prob. Like, it's definitely hard to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, next up here, the most uh, we have sculpt in the so good, set. dude. It's so good. the The Falcon here has an incredible sculpt. I was so lucky enough that Whisk could send us one and just got to see it firsthand, uh, in hand, really. Um, it's so dope. It's so incredible. I love the wings. I love with the little red wing over the shoulder. It's awesome. Uh, sixty five points or seventy if you pay the five points for red wing. Unlike Winter Soldier, I think you're always paying the five points for red wing to start the game equipped. Uh, he's a pretty awesome little dude, and we'll get into him. After we talk about the Falcon, uh, of course, I think I did a write up on the Falcon before. He's very similar to the Winter Soldier, and yet, you know, sadly not as good. Um, but he has charge and stealth, and then running shot. But only if Falcon occupies hindering terrain, he ha he gets no full speed movement with charge or running shot, which is a little bit of a bummer. However, he does just naturally have a plus one to each up on Winter Soldier because he's a twelve speed instead of just a ten speed, which is cool. Uh, he's 5 range, so he's shooting a little bit closer than Winter Soldier is. Winter Soldier is kind of a sniper type guy sometimes. 5 range, 2 targets with Falcon, and he can't fly. Uh, so let's say he charges. So he's got stealth to protect himself. He can charge up. He's got Quake. He's got close combat expert, so he'll be a 12 for 4, which is really nice. Knock people back. Hopefully he still lands himself into some stealth, which is really nice. Um, and then next turn, running shot away, or just stay running shotting doing whatever and then gonna use close combat expert when it comes down to it i wish he would have had traded you know ranged combat expert since he's you know like the opposite of winter soldier not the opposite but like they work in tandem together would have been neat uh his down dial is then his just running shot clicks with precision strike esd and perplex very similar to winter soldiers type of clicks down there which is really cool um but no traded powers is a little rough for falcon i think a lot of his points are used with the five point Red Wing for sure. Uh, but Red Wing does add a lot to the team. So, how does this bad boy work? Uh, free once per game, generate a Red Wing bystander. Uh, so, what does Red Wing do? Before we get into all that, what's Red Wing himself do? He is a hypersonic for seven speed. He's flight, tiny, uh, precision strike, 10 attack, 17 defense with super senses, and an outwit, which is really cool. Uh, for range, so. That is a nine square reach with hypersonic speed with that four range. It's really, really cool. And then, of course, outwit is always nice. Um, his trait is when Red Wing is KO, generate a Red Wing light object in the same square it last occupied. So what's the Red Wing light object do? Um, so blah, 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 generate Red Wing. Now free, remove a Red Wing light object held by this character. So if you're, you're still equipped to the Red Wing object right. itself. So the light you object that drops is a light object not that's named the Red Wing light object. It's wing, not the equipment right. that drops. So exactly. Yeah, it's it's um, just a, a new light object that's on the map. Right. It's not your, it's not your thing. So you're good. Uh, so free, remove the Red Wing light object held by this character. If you do, this turn, you may activate the free action to generate Red Wing Bystander, regardless of the once per game restrictions. This is really cool. Basically, you KO, you can fly over, you know, as Falcon, whatever, anyone that equips this. Get up, that's just a move action. And then free, you can then, whatever, you remove the Red Wing light object from the game. If you do, then you can free, uh, 
bring in their Red Wing bystander, which is really cool. It keeps Red Wing alive a lot, makes the Red Wing object really awesome, really strong, in my opinion. Uh, Falcon is the only person that gets, I think, gets the, the only one that gets. I don't think the Chase gets the Red Wing, right? Yeah, so I think this Chase is the only both. person that gets it. Oh, Chase does get both. Okay. Well, he, does, he doesn't come oh. with it, but he, the, the Captain America Chase can be equipped with Caps right, he can be equipped with it, but this yeah. this is the only figure that gets the Red Wing object right. itself. He is the only so, one that comes with it. If, if you want the Red Wing object, you're going to want this Falcon. Uh, I think you should want him anyways, because it's beautiful sculpts. His style, it is, just style reflected just, how beautiful his sculpt was. You know, I, I want to play him more. I want to see him on the yeah, board more. But, but the like, Red Wing object is really, really cool, and it's really, really good. I don't know how many sculpts we see with two different flight effects. Because there's like a flight effect of the red wing object coming, like the red wing right uh, over shoulder like drone coming yeah. off of him, and then there's also his own flight effect. But then also like he's got one of the best like wingspans in the game. Um, like there's, you know, obviously like there's like Archangel. There's like been like several characters with like metallic kind of wings before, but this is like one of the best that they've done where it wasn't just like flat, like not not dynamic this is like one of the most dynamic weird metallic wing kind of dudes that they've done yeah no nah, very true cases yeah no i, I like him uh i'm <laughs> keeping two just because that object uh there is a weird interaction with like scarab where you could potentially also drop the object or like drop the uh bystander um not sure how that's gonna get like I don't know. I don't, I have to look into it more. Like potentially, sure. if I if I haven't read it wrong because I haven't read it at all, um, you might be able to just keep dropping it. I don't know. Next up yeah. is first chase zero four nine Agatha Harkness. Uh, so she only comes in at a hundred points, but man, yeah. man, oh man. So she can start with the dark hold that she comes with. Her and Scarlet Witch both come with their dark holds. It's the same object, but it comes with both of them. When she uses its effect, she may choose two listed powers. So that's Prob, Perplex, and Outwit. Being able to choose two is pretty good. Uh, Mystic's team ability, seven range, two lightning bolts. She has a similar power to, or a similar trait to Scarlet Witch. That is, uh, generate a rune special marker, max one, if Ag in Agatha's Harkness is square. If Agatha Harkness is more than three squares away from the rune marker, remove it. Other characters within three squares of her rune marker can't use powers. And then she has a special speed power for her first, first, first four clicks. Stealth mind control free if Agatha Harkness occupies hindering terrain. Place her in a square of hindering terrain within four squares and line of fire. Um, so she's got like a free movement. You could potentially drop the rune marker and then get placed like three squares away. Um, so it doesn't like disappear, but you're not like right on the same square and then after click one she has a special attack power her whole dial that is penetrating psychic blast steel energy but with close or range attacks so for clicks one through four she has ranged combat expert giving her 12s for four all of those are psychic blast uh clicks two through four are steel energy she has a 19 super senses click one and then goes to an 18 super senses for clicks two through four goes to some willpower shape change she never doesn't have a rollout and she's got some like really easy ways to like zoop around and be protected again her whole dial she'll have outwit perplex or prob at least two of those um and then potentially cutting off your opponent from having any powers with their within three uh it's other characters so friendly or opposing but man for 100 points she's pretty solid and uh, she's pretty nasty. I think this is a character that a lot yeah. of people are looking at. Celebrity mystical past. You can play with like some of like the really w wacky celebrities. You can break theme and just do some uh, shenanigans because uh, it turns out shutting off powers is pretty good. But a little yeah. good. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, on the reverse side of things, from Agatha, we have the other witch, uh, the Scarlet One. Uh, she also gets the same uh, dark hold. Simeon talked about it. It does the dark hold stuff. Yeah. Uh, she can be at 150 or 75. I think it's really dope that she has a half dial, which is really, really nice. She can be cheaper than Agatha. Yeah. 
like, can just be cheaper than Agatha is, is kind of a also a really big thing for Scarlet Witch here. Um, but at 150, uh, she's hitting like that Doctor Strange hits uh, at 200 points. She's a 13 for 5 with 7 range, 2 targets, running shot, pen blast, and she's got that invincible. Um, no ESD. Still have Mystics. No Power Cosmic, though, so no Protected Outwit. So a few notes, no Willpowers, things like that that make her a little different, but... I want someone that still hits like a truck for a little less. Uh, this Scarlet Witch has you covered. Um, she has a trait. Thanks for the lesson. Power generate a chaos special marker in the Scarlet Witch's square. If the Scarlet Witch is more than three squares away from the chaos marker, ooh, where have I heard this before? Remove her chaos marker. Other characters within three squares of her chaos marker can't use powers. So this is kind of why it's maybe interesting that she can be played at 75 uh, and just a little bit cheaper than Agatha just to... Uh, to get that same marker that says you can't use powers in three squares of it, it can be kind of a big deal. Okay. Um, Plus at 75, she starts with two rollouts, also still uh, has a stop click. At 150, she's got two stop clicks, but uh, yeah. for half the points, one stop click and two rollouts. Yeah. And well, the stop click's actually kind of good, especially at 150, having it at click four, because, you know, I mentioned that lack of uh, cosmic energy that fixes that so it's stop super sense is invincible which is just a dope stop click um and this is revealed for the rest of the game scarlet which has the cosmic energy team ability so if you're playing at 150 she gets that on click four and then she has it to the other five clicks of life until you know the end of the game which is really dope uh, versus when you play it on the 75 point line you only get it for that last click of life and obviously you can heal up you still just get it for the rest of the game so that's solid um she does however have a special attack power that she has on click six through click nine so for the last four clicks of her life which is i don't understand this power but i will knock back penetrating second blast so she's got pen blast her whole dial when the scarlet witch knocks back an opposing character after resolutions choose one remove an action token from her or heal her one click can be pretty solid getting her you know it's nice that it's on her back half of her dial yeah being able to heal or just like if you don't need to heal just keep removing action tokens yeah yeah her, giving her free yeah want to keep her on that click two or whatever don't want to heal up it's like you know it's the same thing as that one i mean for her 75 point line right want to heal her yeah so like why not stay there like is the extra life worth that much or is it better because she's still an 18 for th you know 11 attack pen blast 18 defense three damage double roll out all that same stuff nothing changes you just have one less click of life Hey, it's not a really a worry because you've got a stop click, anyways. So, Tawana is awesome. The Scarlet Witch is really cool. She's really powerful. Um, Sculpt's great. Like the Dark Hold is really cool. I've I love it, it a lot. Like that's the iconic. Put it in, but I saw it and like it's got yeah. like the little like sketches and stuff in it. So it's cool. Oh, but is it really in the the book? That's yeah. sweet. Yeah, it's got like it's really little, dope. Like, it's got the uh, like the Scarlet Witch emblem that like the book oh, had. Really? So, so yeah, that's. That's cool. I like that a so lot. Both the book in front of her on her sculpt yeah. and like the actual object have like the same imagery. So like Agatha doesn't nice. actually like, have a book in her sculpt, but right. um, yeah, I'm glad it was like Sick, that though. and not just like congratulations to this person for winning HeroClix Worlds. <laughs> it was like I'm Ooh. glad it didn't say something like Ooh. it would have. It would have been annoying if on shots right now. Okay, no, but like. Truly, right. I see how it is. It's different if it's a newspaper, Dang, dude. but it, like the dark hold, Dang. you'd have to be like, I sold my Ow. Now he's specifically was... saying a newspaper. What could Simeon possibly be referencing? I'm just saying, like, okay, or, or some rocks, or put your face in a mirror, or a globe, or have okay. someone choke Thank you. Thank you for making it a little bit more the references I can make. There you go. That feels a little as... less specific. Yeah. I appreciate that one. Thank what you, could Simeon. These people have been. Um, Oh, we'll idea. name them after the episode. Uh, Loki is 051. He's a chase. This is the party Thor episode. Um, if Thor were an only child. So this is the Loki that was raised in uh, Frost Giant Land. So he is a giant, as you can tell from his symbol. Uh, three range, two lightning bolts, 75 points. He has charge for his first four clicks, quake for his first four clicks, invulnerability, and perplex for his first four clicks. His top dial is 12 for four with perplex, making him easily a 13 for four, which is cool because he has traded steel energy, and when he hits after resolutions, give each hit character an action token. So not only can you dish out 
two damage to everybody, you can give him action tokens, regardless of if you damage him. Uh, he also has traded plasticity, and adjacent opposing characters can only clear one action token instead of two, which is nuts. Being able to double action token somebody, and then they can only clear one, that hurts. I've actually played against this guy once, and it's truly kind of like menacing. Um, and then those two traits work on his bottom dial, where he's got flurry, poison, toughness, and battle fury. Uh, he's not like a super hard character to put down, but the fact that he's got that three through six willpower roll because he's giant, he's got an extended reach because like when he's quaking, he's targeting everybody with his giant reach instead of like normal like adjacency. And uh, that steel energy, he can stick around for a while. He's he's cool. I definitely want one. Um, not necessarily because of, like the look or because the episode, just because like the dial itself is really cool. Uh, as far as keywords go, he's got Asgardian, Brute, Deity, Future, Monster, Mystical, and Past. So definitely an interesting character. Uh, Mystic's team ability. He's not doing anything as crazy as like the last two figures or three figures that oh. we talked about but he is doing something interesting uh, next up got uh, uh, N collector here uh, D ball collector uh, just jacked out of his mind uh, Teven. dude yeah, he yeah, can like some dude. super soldier something. <laughs> something, dude. Uh, dial doesn't really reflect that. Uh, it's more of a collector collector type dial, which is neat, but um, it's okay. So full dial of phasing. Again, 25 points. It's an incredible 25 points, but this is someone you have to build your team around, but that's okay. That's like kind of the fun of playing this figure. He's cosmic energy, four range, two targets, so makes his in-cap kind of cool. A full dial of perplex, full dial of super senses, which is nice. The last click being stop which is really cool gives him a lot of longevity for a 25 point click uh 25 point costed figure four clicks long uh his first trait is of course if that's not your style if you have at least one character of each rarity common uncommon rare and super rare on your force friendly characters modify attack plus one so you can have multiple commons multiple uncommons multiple rares and super rares as long as you at least have one of each um this isn't at the beginning of the game this one is constantly being checked. So if you eventually no longer have any commons on your build, all your friendly characters are losing that plus one attack value. However, it is just friendly characters. So let's say you have Mary Jane or any other bystander generator, right? They now, when they make their bystanders, they're a friendly character, they modify their attack value plus one. Something to keep in note. That's yeah. pretty freaking dope. Red wing. So common, uncommon, rare, super rare. Really cool. Agatha, her bunny. Is that, or Agnes oh, yeah. got her bunny a plus one. Uh, yeah, the Wreckers Wrecking yeah. Crew will have a plus one. Pretty cool. I like it a lot. Second trait now is another type fun little team building thing. At the beginning of the game, however, if each character on your starting force is from a different hero click set, as long as the collector is on the map, friendly characters modify damage plus one. So again, same friendly character thing. Bystanders can get it. Other people can get it. It's really fun. Iterated characters can get it. Uh, Vulcan, Black Vulcan, and stuff like that can get it. It's cool. Uh, this one's at the beginning of the game. Now it's as long as collectors on the map. So now it's like keep collectors safe, specifically for this one, so you can keep your plus one damage. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you lose people that are all from it. So now you want to have people that are all from a different hero click set, which is so neat. I love when they do stuff like this that kind of breaks the fourth wall ish. That's very neat. So it's collector being like, this is my collection. I've got one of each rarity. I've got a figure from each hero click set. So now you want to have not each, not each hero click set, goodness right, gracious. But, like uh, but different hero click sets. So it, it it quite literally in the team building aspect, it's it takes one of my favorite ways to play hero click not ways to play, but one of my favorite things about hero clicks, which I probably spend more time team building than actually playing the game. Uh, I mean I think maybe a lot of people do. Um like yeah, it's it rewards you for making a really cool team build. So Collector doesn't play well with other people in his set. Um, I think maybe in sealed you can get yeah, the common, he, uncommon, he rare, does, super rare. Just, do it, so you could, but you could do him and like the um, you could do him and the spooktacular people to get plus one attacks. But like as oh, far sure. as like, the plus that's one fun. damage, yeah, like that's definitely yeah. something you got to kind of stretch for. A twenty-five point the more figure you have, the harder that one gets. Yeah, really very does. true. 
Um, because now you're like you're looking at I can only choose one figure from each set. And hey, me and Simeon did that a few podcasts yeah. ago. I don't remember which ones, but we did we did we chose uh one figure from every hero click set that ever existed that we would want to have. So maybe that's how you build your team. Yeah. Um but it's really cool. I mean that just gives a blanket plus one attack and damage to everybody on your team. Well, and he's it's dope. So. so much easier to play in silver as well. Oh very true, of course. Double the options for I over double the options for uh yeah. different sets that you can do. But no, I used to pay 25 points for, or no, I guess I used to pay 20 points for just Perplex on teams. Um, True, I'm paying 25 yeah. For stop, click, cosmic energy, phasing, Perplex, and then potentially the other stuff. I mean, yeah. Also just four range, 12 True. attack, in cap is good. All right. Gamora, daughter of All Thanos. Right. So this is, of course, the Gamora of Sakaria or whatever, Sakar. Yeah. Um, we did not see this episode, so we can't comment too much about how accurate this one is. But she's got uh, my father's resolve as a trait. Once per turn, when Gamora, daughter of Thanos, rolls a single d6, she may re-roll it. Sounds good for powers like blades, leadership, super senses, uh, shape change, uh, breakaway. Uh, is there anything I'm thinking? Regen. Um, yeah, it's just it's good being able to roll re-roll a single d6 roll uh it's whenever she rolls a single d6 so not attack rolls but any other single d6 roll two lightning bolts zero range comes in at 125 points or 75 points her first three clicks are hypersonic speed uh, she has starts off with a 12 attack 19 defense and a four damage keeps the four damage for clicks two and three but drops down to an 11 and 18 for attack and defense um, for the first six clicks, she has a special attack power that is perfectly balanced. Uh, Blades Claws Fangs, when Gamora, daughter of Thanos, uses it, you may instead deal half the D6 result to the target. If you deal, or if you do, heal Gamora, daughter of Thanos, or an adjacent friendly character a number of clicks equal to the halved result. So deal half to um, your opponent and heal half pretty good. Like, because even if you. Like, even if you get, like, a, a four, so you're dealing them two and you're healing two, maybe they're reducing it. But, like, being able to heal two from that is pretty solid. Yeah. Um, sadly, it's not comboed with her flurry clicks. She does have flurry, steel energy, outwit, and combat reflexes her last three clicks. But uh, she, it is comboed with exploit weakness for her middle three clicks. Her 75-point line starts on the beginning of that charge uh, exploit weakness little run so it's like not really the mid dial it's it's click four it's like it's a good utility dial it doesn't give you that uh hypersonic but man pen damage and everything else it's pretty good uh, she has assassin black order cosmic minions of thanos ruler and warrior keywords so i actually kind of like her i don't know if i'm gonna keep her i did pull one i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it and play it but the fact that like it's not so much what she has on dial it's more so like i could equip her with like the mirror of missileth or whatever for like a sure. rage game yeah. and then re-roll that die like it's stuff like that where i'm like that's good i could i that's could good. do yeah. stuff to to boost her kind of crazy style um with that re-roll of a single d6 and then she's already got cosmic energy, so I don't have to worry about like outwit protection kind of thing. She's just she's interesting. Do I think that I'm gonna like really roll over some people casually with her? Not really. No, I don't think rerolling a single d6 is enough to like outweigh um, like the standard attack and defense values. But it's it's just a really fun like gimmick. I really liked. Um, What's his name? Marquis of Death, because he could energy explode yeah. and heal friendlies with that energy explosion. And this is a Gamora that can blades and potentially heal friendlies or herself with that. So it's cool. It's fun enough. And it's it's a cool costume. It's a cool sword. It's like the double sword blade thing that Thanos has in Endgame. So, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, next up, we got a big old brick of text. We got a pretty complicated 50 point, not complicated, but just uh, there's a lot going on in this 50 point Iron Man. More than only meets the three eye. Powers, Calder. I know he's only got three powers. No, it's so good. It's gonna be so easy. Uh, 
50 points, 7 clicks of life. Solid. Willpower, this entire dial. Uh, 2 damage his first 4 clicks with Outwit and Perplex, with his smartest man on any planet. Then last 3 clicks, he's got 3 damage with just Perplex. And speed for the first 4, 10 attack for the first 4. Then he's got some 8s and 10s and 9s and stuff there at the end of his dial. Um... He's got one trait called, I've worked with scraps before. At the beginning of the game, you may generate up to three standard objects anywhere on the map, at least five squares from each other. When Sakarian Iron Man picks up a standard object, you may instead place it on his card. If less than two objects are on his card, Sakarian Iron Man modifies his combat values by plus one for each standard object on his card. At the beginning of your turn, you may choose one standard speed or attack power for each object on his card to use until your next turn. When Sakaar and Iron Man would be dealt damage from an opponent's attack, you may instead remove a standard object from his card and take one unavoidable damage instead. It's really cool. It's really good. Uh, so for 50 points, they've got to hit you twice to do you like two damage, and then they can finally hit you. Kari and oh. Iron Man is what they meant to call him. Stilt Karian. Stilt Karian. Yeah, very, very stilt manish, this Sakarian Iron Man. You're removing these tokens. No, he's, uh, he's so you make essentially three extra objects. Hard to KO. Uh, yeah, you make three extra yeah. objects at the beginning of the game. Oh. Picking, is there any situation where you pick two speed powers? I guess Charge Flurry would be... Charge Flurry, yeah. Yeah, you could pick Charge Flurry. You could pick... Uh, you got to think. All his combat values go up. Plus two, because he only want to have two on his card at a time. He becomes a 12 speed, he becomes a 12 attack, he becomes a 19 defense, he becomes a four damage up dial. Pretty incredible. But it's um, better that's... than a 12 speed because with charge, it's right. Actually, you're right. It's, it's so it's a, it's a 10 reach. speed plus two yeah. instead of a six squares, it's a seven square reach. And he also has perplex, perplex of his speed, perplex of his attack, it's not wit. Uh, dude's incredible. I mean, the guy's going to see all sorts of insane, like, play. He's a very technical uh, figure. He doesn't have a lot going on base value on his dial, but there's a lot of choices to be made. Uh, I think it's going to be is keeping him picking up objects, um, keeping him... Because yeah. if you, if you take some that. unavoidable damage and you remove objects, um, you're picking fewer powers, and, uh, you know, suddenly it's a race. Yeah. If he's double-tokened and your opponent double-taps you... Um, you know, suddenly they can deal you, like you're on click three, they can just deal you five damage and KO you because you don't have yeah. any objects. So it's it's definitely a finesse piece. It's definitely something where you have to be yeah. safe. But it's also a piece where you can just be in your opponent's face with a, like, 12 for five because you can pick... Wait, no, you can't pick a close combat expert. Oh, it's, yeah, just speeder no, uh, yeah. attack. So you can be like... a... Blink shot and stuff. Yeah, pulse wave. Yeah, pen blast. Yeah. You precision you strike. You have energy explosion and uh, certain stuff. Blades, steel energy. If you need yeah. to heal, that's probably your. That's your only way to heal this guy. Is steel energy. So, you know, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, no, he's really cool. He's really neat. The sculpt is beautiful. I really like the sculpt on this guy. It's Hulkbuster, but it's got the different blues and teals and yeah, stuff and little symbols. The car. It's, it looks really dope. It's a such it's such a sick sculpt, you know. Uh, I really yeah. hope like once this episode drops, I hope he goes to use like the unibeam, like his chest beam, and it like it like charges up, then like shoots out confetti, and it starts playing like it's your birthday or oh. that, that weird song. Yeah, yeah, that the uh, Grandmaster has on yeah. a ship. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. It's your birthday. It's like flashing lights. Oh gosh! It's like, oh, I thought this was like a, a gun. Yeah, it, it was. Nope. All right. Next up, we got uh, Ultron Infinity. We pulled him in our our uh, Disney Plus pre-release brick. Um, comes in at one point value, 125 points. He's unique. He's got mission points. Otherwise, his dial is running shot, energy explosion, charge, poison. He's got two clicks of impervious, four clicks of invulnerability, two clicks of regeneration. Top four clicks are outwit. Bottom four clicks are perplex. He's really solid. He's not really like the boss battle kind of thing that a lot of people were hoping for, but he's like a really solid just 125-point figure, just like on his basis. He's got cosmic energy, seven range, two lightning bolts, armor, cosmic, masters of evil, robot ruler. Uh, real name Vision for anybody that cares Ooh. That. Yeah. Um, 
So he has one trait. It's, you will not stop me from doing what is necessary. Stealth. At the beginning of the game, each opponent must give an infinity gem token to six distinct characters on their starting force. If they have less than six characters, excess tokens must be given to one or more characters. Uh, which already, if they have less than six characters, kind of gives them an advantage. They can pick, like, the yeah. character that's harder to hit to give to. to. Um, when Ultron Infinity hits one or more characters with an Infinity Gem token, instead of normal damage, you may choose to remove one hit character's Infinity Gem token to roll a D6 to gain mission points equal to the result. I still think at 125 points, this guy can be played. Um, a lot of people yeah. talk about like how swap can like oh you know you just swap everyone out like how many swap teams swap every single character out like it's possible like you know it's possible you have like six characters that you're gonna swap out it's also possible that like you know um, you're only swapping out Doom and then you have five characters that stayed or like you know you this matchup is like better if you keep like three of the characters that you started with or whatever. I don't know. It's it's kind of tertiary, but essentially, if this guy has one target and he gets one good roll, and you get six, and like you get six uh, mission, yeah, from you get a six, it, yeah. It's probably worth 125 points if you're building towards mission points. Uh, yeah. I really like it in a casual setting because it's less boss battley and more uh, like timer runs out kind of like boss battle like you like i have mission objectives that i complete you lose and it's less of that and uh or it's less of like the big dial i ko you really easy because i have high damage and more of the if you don't stop me in time then i win kind of thing and so it's it's a different take on like the boss battle um i wouldn't have minded seeing him at like a 200 point line similar to like the prime vision where he has like you know, like a double tap range attack, uh, some sort of like penetrating damage that can't be reduced by like yeah. protected pen or whatever. Um, nice. like somebody that could blast through the care, all the characters that have protected pen damage, like gladiator prime would be cool. Yeah. Even if it costs like 200 points, it'd be cool. But yeah, that's, we yeah. played him. You can watch us play him. Um, he gets, I think two whole games, so he does yeah so you see him in action for a little bit it's pretty yeah. nice yeah he's definitely a cool character and he's definitely fun to put on the field i think so i mean he looks amazing another like incredible sculpt i feel like i've said that about a ton of figures in the set but that's the best part about him you know he sculpt he feels cool uh oh dope i get to talk about uh sam wilson here captain america that's really sweet i'm very excited about that uh, i love his 125 point line and everything else is still really, really fun. He still has really cool point lines. I, I dig this guy a lot. He's very top-heavy, uh, but let's get into him. So carrying on the legacy of Captain America in my own way. Uh, Sam Wilson, Captain America may start the game with the Disney Plus Captain America shield and or Red Wing equipped. So you can have both of these equipped at the same time without paying any extra points. So he's got traded. Uh, so now he's got ESD from the shield, and now he's got Red Wing, which we already went over. Now you can make Red Wing and all that fun stuff. Um, he also has traded defend and willpower. Uh, when an adjacent friendly character replaces their defense value with Captain America's, that character can use toughness for that attack. I really like it. Uh, it's kind of showing he's using the shield or he's using like his wings or something to protect people nearby, also reducing damage. Um, so defend willpower. It's interesting because if you play him at 75 or 50, he himself doesn't have a reducer, <laughs> so he can reduce damage for others, but not himself. Uh, ironic a little it bit is, yeah. um but top dial he's got then 19 defend at 125 points or he's got an 18 defend at 75 still very solid um and then he's got a special speed power for his first four clicks which will be all on his 125 point line or the first click on his 75 point line or the last click uh for every point line on cl click number nine he's still got a deep dial uh, which is you just earned this whooping blast hypersonic speed and stealth captain america uses hypersonic speed and hits with a close attack after resolutions he may place a hit character adjacent to himself then use force blast as free a little bit of nightcrawler in the modern era which is really fun uh so he gets the hypersonic up 
He can punch somebody, and he's got to be a close attack, but that's okay, because he's got four damage top dial with close combat expert, which means he's a 13 for five. So if this character is still breathing after he punches them, uh, he gets to bring them back uh, however many squares that he has left in his movement. Uh, you know, potentially a 13 with potentially Sonic perplexes. Even closer. Yeah. Right, knock him back even closer to the rest of the team, and then they get a pile on this guy, and they get to beat the snot out of him. It'd be great. Uh, and it's cool because it places him. So he runs up, punches you. He could punch anybody on your on your opposing team. You could you run up, punch Thanos somehow. I don't know how he's getting there. I don't know, but maybe he will. He'd run up, punch Thanos, hit him for five. Oh, he reduces it by two, sure, whatever. Puts him on click three or something, and then brings Thanos back. Him back, and then the rest of the team gets to be not out of him. Yeah, you use be tempo, fun. you use uh, like Venom Magneto. It's easy to get him across there, the map. There's ways. He's got a 10 speed, yeah. he's got hypersonic speed. You can make him yeah. go 19 squares pretty it's, easily. It's not that crazy, yeah. Problem. Um, yeah, and then force blast the yeah. other person so that they're scooted back even closer. I mean, True. are you doing that? Are you like investing that many points? I don't know. But like, cash it's a lot. Putting like it's fun. this kill really cool. kind of like situation, or just yeah. or just like hypersonic. I stay next to the person, don't like have any breakaway potential, but I yeah. hit them thirteen for five, and then like force blast them away. That's fun too. Yeah, super yeah. dope. I mean, my only big problem with him, and I kind of mentioned this, is I probably would have preferred vulnerability top dial, maybe be a little cheaper, and then have some toughness, or even like a. Uh, Combat reflexes top dial, like but traded, then traded like invuln, yeah, or yeah, like traded invuln or traded toughness, just because uh, when once you get to those seventy five point lines, and that that's another rough thing is he drops his close combat expert, so it's seventy five points. You know, he goes from being a thirteen for five for being eleven for three, uh, which is a little little rough for Captain America here. But then he's a charge quake guy. Oh, he's got hypersonic still. He has leadership the rest of his dials. So that's one interesting thing is he doesn't have leadership top dial. He does just have the close combat expert. That's his down dial 50 point line. I kind of wish it was like a 35 point line or something. I, I wish maybe he had a stop click. So it felt a bit better at 50. Yeah, Running I shot pen blast. I don't think they um, can give him like a cheaper point line because for 50 points, you can still start him with both objects. True. Yeah. Becomes, which is still 15 points worth I mean, of object. Yeah. That, yeah, it becomes like a situation where you can swap them out on an Avengers team. Oh, true. Yeah, have both objects for cheap. I mean, yeah. Obviously, you can still do that at fifty, which is really good. Right. I, yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna I mean, he still like, he still open. moves a lot. He still does a lot of cool stuff. He still has the defend. He still has the willpower. And you know, at the very least, even though the defend is only a seventeen at fifty or an eighteen at seventy five, they still get the toughness, which can help a lot of people. Was the ESD, you know, just making him a 19 from range. He still has Red Wing, which we've already talked about. Red Wing, that's the outwit, that's the hypersonic. Red Wing's a big help. You know, not lying here. Red Wing's dope. So there's still a ton going on with this Falcon. He is just very, very top dial heavy. Um, and even in that, like, I'm gonna play him at 125 points. I love, I love this dial. I really do. It's just, it's just super top dial heavy. And if you can keep him there, you know, stealth, ESD. Well, uh, Red Wing's got the same speed top dial, so you can so true. generate Red Wing, kick it at, like, TK him up, whatever, generate wet Red Wing, hypersonic, try and hit, out with, oh, with some stuff, yeah. And then come in with him and hit 13 for 5 and just true. probably blow right through somebody's yeah. decent stuff. Uh, this Falcon is awesome. I, I do really, really like him. So, yeah. I think uh, it's a great way to, like, end the set review. Um, we do have and the, also like cool sculpt. Can't the, uh, can't the, the LE Doctor Strange that'll be playable like the win at your <laughs> local store. Um, his big thing is at the beginning of the game, friendly characters. You choose up to two friendly characters that share a keyword: Avengers, Defenders, Mystical, and they can either get the Avengers and uh, Avengers Initiative <laughs> or Defenders team ability, and they get to use that for the rest of the game. Um, other than that, he's a very basic Doctor Strange. Yep. Uh, he's you know, running shot. Uh, he does get pulse wave. Does have pensai. Can equip the cloak. Uh, has perplex, outwit, support. Like very Doctor Strangey kind of things. But it's mostly granting the friendly characters those. 
team of Defenders is really, team. really nice. And then the Seize Through Stealth with Avengers yeah. Initiative, also super nice. Both. Also, I think the biggest thing is just getting a... Uh, team abilities. Like, you don't see those very often. Yeah. But in this like, set, just getting really a normal, like, MCU, basically, Doctor Strange is really right. cool. And I do really appreciate that they, they did that, I like, yeah. a lot. At least um, more normal than yeah than strange supreme. and supreme just because it's e specifically evil version you know uh, there's also the Spider Man I think we talked about the Spider Man a lot it makes the Happy Hogan makes the Kurt's head makes or Kurt and then Scott's head yeah um mentioned a lot of bystanders mentioned a lot of tokens as you know where you can get cool bystanders and tokens in our Patreon if you join us at uh, patreoncom slash clicks we have all sorts of cool stuff you join for a dollar a month you get access to the Discord you get access to giveaways. Uh, five bucks a month get one token. Ten bucks a month get three tokens. Fifteen bucks get six tokens. It just gets better and better the more you donate. Um, so yeah, like if you want really cool tokens, rune markers, chaos markers, injection tokens, food tokens, all the Happy Hogan or Spider Man bystanders, then of course Senior Scratchy, all that fun stuff. You can get those over at our Patreon, and it helps us. Uh, if you've been enjoying these video podcasts, if you've been enjoying uh, all our awesome like unboxings and videos we've been doing. Oh, you guys have like paid for like the green screen, the lights, um, the mics we're using, all sorts of stuff like that. Super helps the production uh, of the podcast. So I hope you enjoyed this Disney Plus set review, uh, like always. And again, we're not getting to questions this week because this podcast is. Yeah. Oh, look this at all those minutes. Review. Next week, set review. we probably have very little promise. news, and probably promise we will do of, questions. Time for questions. I know we like said we do questions these last two weeks. <laughs> We're definitely going to do them next week. Don't worry. We yeah, will. We it will. It happens. Stuff happens. Yeah. It is. Uh, if you guys do want to send us questions, and we definitely will answer them next week, uh, you can send us them on Twitter, dial H4. It's the number four hero clicks on twitter.com. Uh, Facebook, just there. You can write us an old fashioned email, dial H for hero clicks at gmail.com. Links to all these are going to be in the podcast description, guys. You're going to check them out. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff to stay up to date. So I don't know what Simeon's doing. He's playing some weird hero clicks Jenga stack thing. Em. Stack them. You just gotta stack them. I'm pretty sure that's not hero clicks slogan, but it's someone's slogan about stacking them. But uh, I'm glad you're stacking them, Simeon. Um, yeah, we're gonna have all sorts of unboxing videos coming up for Disney Plus. Uh, we have some awesome gameplay videos coming up soon. Uh, some fun skit videos that I am very excited for you guys to see. These have been, they were a blast to film. And then seeing these last two skits we made edited together, uh, these skits are going to be before both of our Disney Plus unboxings. They're awesome. I'm very excited for you guys to watch them. They they were, they were dope. I, seriously. Sorry for, for the fact that you will have to watch it. Shouldn't be sorry. They're great. Dude, they're gold. They're, they're so gold. They're, yeah, yeah, they're definitely the uh, once again the most unique content on YouTube for Hero Clicks. Um, yep. I don't say that because I want to like boast and I think that we're like so amazing or anything. I truly think that as like as a community, we need to like step up our game. We need to like reach out to like all the all the people that might potentially play it, but they're like, oh, but all their content's so boring. And then we have stuff like this. We're like, is it goofy? Yes. Do we make fools of ourselves most of the time? Correct. Uh, but yeah. is, it, is it good content? Do you want to keep seeing how silly and foolish we can be? Yes, you do. Uh, that's why people paid us to do chair shots at one point. So, yeah. Oh, ouch. If yeah. you want to pay people to do chair shots, well, you'll have to wait till uh, the next time we do a charity event. But if you want to pay for, I don't know, some of these Disney Plus figures we just talked about, let me just uh go over to uh refresh no singles are still not available but you can still buy uh the sealed products at coolstuffinc.com singles should be live here within a couple days um and pick up some of these figures that you like i really like the spooktacular stuff that's some of my favorites i really want to get some more cloaks of levitation so i can play all my doctor stranges with their appropriate attire um yeah, Calder, he really likes um, Gamora. Don't, and don't you dare. Oh, gross. Don't, Miss don't. Miss nah. On Walker, Captain America, U.S. Agent, uh, Chase, Captain America, Super Falcon, Super Winter Soldier. All the all the Falcon Winter Soldier stuff is all so good. Um, it is, yeah. 
It really, it really is dope. Uh, I'm excited for Zombie Cap, of course. Uh, Charles Star Lord, uh, all the Captain Carters. Um, honestly, uh, the Spectacular. I'm still in the boat. You know, Spectacular is still super fun, even though it's not like a thing I think I would really enjoy. Spectacular is dope. But uh, yeah, a horde of zombie caps coming at you soon. Who knows when? But soon. A horde of zombie yeah. caps. A horde of party thors. Um, horde, horde of party thors. Horde of party thors. <laughs> Like horde, horde of party thors, horde, horde of party horde thors, horde, horde of party thors. Uh, Say that five times fast. That's but, tough. Uh, yeah, check those things out at coolstuffinc.com. Use code dial five to get five percent off. Like always, happy trails. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No, are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Over How they, six uh, people humor? think I am funny. It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which you absolute fools? It's not Witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey Google, attack someone. Let's attack Simeon because he's a jerk. At the trails. Dab on the haters. Oh gosh, stop. <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, and